Hello. Love y'all. post office and that's a place where they serve food a lot of trucks there Welcome to the Hermiston Post Office. Most of the time this is empty, hence I'm not wearing a mask. There's the P.O. Box. If you ever wondered about it, this is it. Probably. Yeah. Not today. Yeah, there's all your boxes. See? Pretty nice day here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you for a few moments. Let's go over, I'm gonna show you this park. I don't think there's any kids, but see, there you got the post office. There you have the park. And across the street, they have those trucks there where you can buy food. A little place for the babies to play. Hope you're all doing well. I wish my grandkids were here, then they can come over here and play. Somebody on the swing, so I can't show you that. But this is a itty bitty little park. This is a, a city right now of about 18,000 residents in the city of Hermiston, Oregon. Here's a little play thing. All right. I like that, uh, let me see, clock tower over there. There is the fire station right there. You see how close everything is? I told you this is a very small city, but that is the fire station right there. And down yonder, you can see some kids playing football, practicing. It's a great place to live, inexpensive as far as being older. Uh, for young people, it depends on their personality, I guess. That is Napa Auto Parts right there. There is a gazebo. Uh, there never used to be fencing here, but a couple of times uh, uh, what happens is at night, some of the homeless, one or two men, they like to sleep there. I don't know if that's the reason for the fencing or not, but that right there is a store called Bymart. I'm gonna take you over there. I gotta get back in the car, but there's Napa. 
But let me take you down the street a little bit, okay? Oh yeah, there's the firehouse. I like that. I like that clock thingy there. All right. What's that big ball? What's that ball right there? Let's look at it. This place you can come over here and have a sit down and have lunch. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Let's see here, the Hermiston Herald, your paper since 1906. Centennial Heritage is the sponsor, I guess. Ah, looks like a globe of the world. Well, that's interesting. Ah, oh, shall we go around the world? <laughs> That's kind of interesting. I've never ever since I've been here for what seven years now. I never, I never got that close. Keys around my neck. Right here. This is the main highway, Highway 395. That is the main, the main highway. And here is where all the stores, Walmart, and all that is down the street there. But just to give you an idea of what you're looking at. So you have, you come off the highway, train tracks, and go over to Napa. And there is Bymart. Bymart. So let's go back over to the car because I want to get back in the car. And we'll go to a few places. I hope you're doing good. Grandma's hanging in there all right. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the chat. The sun's in my face. I'm wearing these goofy, goofy sunglasses. And yes, I've got my sparklies. Got my sparklies on. Just to kind of give you a feel, you know, kind of a, a feel for where I live. Like I said, it's considered a city of about 18,000 people. It's a nice place to live if you want to retire, in my humble opinion. Now I gotta be careful here, kids are on the swing, so I will turn the camera this way. And I don't know if it's still open, but there's the public potty. Sit down over here and relax. Uh, I don't know if you want to drink out of that water fountain, but <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> here in this building, they play bingo. <laughs> there's a church, church over there, Mason Lodge over there. Oh, yeah. Spring is sprung. You see the buds on the tree? Pretty cool. All right. There's my itty bitty little car right there. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, those doors look kind of old. Needs, uh, we need to repaint. Not quite sure what that is. But I do know that in the summertime, the doors are wide open and people are playing bingo. Let's see, can I turn this around? Hold on. There you go. Well, hello. <laughs> yeah, kind of a lot of people walking around school. School has just let out. Oh, I'll get you. Let me get you the name of this food thing here. I'm sure there's a lot of people that remember my walk and talks. Welcome back to Walk and Talk 2023. Yes! Something about getting that laptop kind of got me to where I feel like my old self. This is my old self, if you will. Some vehicle, some vehicles will pop, uh, pop, uh, let me see. I'm going to switch it. There you go. Let me let the vehicles go by. But that says it's the Hermiston Food Pod. You even got parking, but there's where you can get yourself some, get your, get your grub on. Yes. I look like I'm wearing a bad wig. <laughs> Drop your mail. Oh, never mind. We'll just keep going. But if you want to gander at the post office, which is not very exciting, but this is where grandma comes to pick, pick up the mail. Hold on. Okay. 
there there's my itty bitty little car yes yes my big my big five foot ten 185 pound body gets in that clown car that little clown car right there <laughs> <laughs> She's almost paid! She's almost paid! <laughs> so yeah, you can find some things to do. I know I keep saying it's boring, but it's not. I mean, it is and it's not. It depends on your age. Ugh. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> Let me stop, put on my glasses and say hello. Ooh, child. I just, I just washed it. And... I trimmed my bat wings off. <laughs> yes, take a good look in the sunshine. This is what I look like. A lot of people are scared. I only got I got lipstick and lip gloss on. Take a good look. <laughs> Some folks are afraid to do that. <laughs> hey, Sheed, we here. Nez Lover, Lady Dark Sky, Squirrel, hey Squirrel. And who else is here? Hey, Dawn people. Thank you. Hello, Dina. Cassandra living life. The artist. Oh, I got my power pack team here. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is let me put my uh, seat smell down. Got to be safe. I need a facelift. <laughs> All right. Ah. Okay. Yes. My sister Carmen gave me this years ago. It says, I love Jesus. Yes, I do. I don't know what we're going to face or what we're going to see. Ciao. I feel like my face is melting like a candle. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right. I got to wait my turn. Everybody and their cousin is coming in here. Yeah, I gave the bangs a trim. I gave my little bat wings a trim. I'm just trimming a little bit and letting everything else grow the way I used to look. And I may, I may color my hair. I don't know. But we got to be very careful. I think no, I don't want to go in that store. I really oh wait a minute, I do. I wanna I wanna just uh, go over there right quick. We wanna go over to Buy Mart and see if they have the soil. I'm trying to avoid going to Walmart. I've been in Walmart too much. I'm tired of Walmart and I'm sure that they are sick of looking at my face. Lynn, you're on the air too much. I'm sorry. You're on the air too much. I'm retired. I'm retired. <laughs> you know what? I gotta. Mm, can I? Can I get? Can I get over there from here? You know what I gotta do? My old behind's gotta turn around. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Hmm. Antiques, furniture, and art. Hmm. Not now. We'll, we'll pick another day. We'll pick another day. But I gotta. I, I came to the wrong entrance because I was busy talking. This is what I mean by I gotta be careful. And right here, a little church. A little church looks pretty cute. I don't think I've ever been to that church. Let's be safe. Let's let this gentleman pass by. Come on, come on, bro. You got it. Are you gonna cross? No, you're not gonna cross. Okay. All right. Some people are Speedy Gonzales. I got to wait for car number one, car number two. You know what's terrible? My windows are stuck up. And it's 64 degrees in the car. Oops. <laughs> Mr. Tim has the motor. Uh, I'll be going over to his house sometime to, he can crack open my, uh, the door of my car like a clam. Here we go. Flip. Flip. See? 
You see how close everything is? I told you. <laughs> I was not kidding. I really don't want to park too close. I want to be able to get out of here. So we're going to park over here. See how there's Napa, post office. Everything's all close. That is the plus part of living here. That's the plus part. Let's see. If you like small, small town living, how can I put you? Hold on. Before we go in the store. Let's see. Can I... I didn't bring a stand with me, which was a big mistake. Yeah, I like when you lean forward, your wrinkles just come out more. Me a favor, please stay. Stay right there. There you go. I need this. I just want to get some potting soil. I'm not worried about wearing a mask, but I bring a mask on my face. No, oh, this, 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 no, no, no. No. Mm -mm. I know exactly what I got to do. Okay. Under the chin she goes. I'm sorry for looking so goofy, but that's life. And what I need to do, I need to get my, get my gorgeous purse. Oh, let me double check. Let me double check before I go in, before I go messing. Okay, we've got our we've got our debit card. Uh, yeah, you don't want to walk in the store and realize you left your debit card at home. Okay. And what I going to do? We got our spray. This is 90 91% alcohol. Oh, I'm armed and ready. But what I think I can do Thank you for your patience with grandma. Yes, it's a bit dramatic when I go around people. I'm just, I get a little nervous. So what we're going to do, got our paper towel, get our alcohol. I spray it. Spray that. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. Get our keys. And get our purse. Oh, I got to show. That's right. I got to show an ID card. Just in case I end up walking in the store, you need an ID. You have a, uh, it's a card. Please tell me I got the card. Because if I got, if I ain't got the card, I can't go in. Hold on. Let's see. Wait a minute. I got to open this door. I'm hot. Okay, stop. Stay open. Stay open. There it is. You have to have. Oh, you have to have the the buy mark card to go in. It doesn't cost nothing, but yeah, you cannot go into the store without showing that card. No, it's not. It's not the mark of the beast. <laughs> It's been that way since I've been here. It's been that way forever. So. All right. The wallet back in. I may not get anything. This may be just two minutes. I don't know. So. Lock. And I'll put my card right there so I can show it if I if I have to go in. This is Bymart. B-I-M-A-R-T. The country. Country store. Oh, it's it's country here. I gotta get a cart. That's why I got this. I can wipe the handle of the cart. Ah. Pellets. Want some wood? It's not too bad for that. It's it's always good to have it. Hardwood. OK. 
Okay. There's a cart. Let's do it like this. This is probably not necessary, but it's I'm I'm kind of paranoid. Okay. Ooh, let's have a looky loo. Mmm. Ooh, strawberry. Yeah, we got some items out here. Ooh, that's big. Ooh, that's really big. Ooh, 50% off. Ah, my friends. And they got all that over there. That's probably where the potting soil is where we got to go over. I don't want to walk too fast. You know how a person, they get on and they just sort of go by all fast and you don't get to see? I'm going to try not to do that. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, spring has sprung. Oh, like velvet. Iwasaki. Do you know... You see how they're $6.99? If you go to Walmart, these are probably $30 at Walmart. You know it. Boy, they look beautiful. Oh, let me get my cart. Let me get my cart. Oh, maybe not. I think she took my cart. That's not good. Okay. Can I, can I take one? Can I take one? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, here we go again. <laughs> Hold on a second. This is live. What can I tell you? This is live. We're live. Okay, I don't know. Let's just do this and be careful. Okay. Let's go over and take a look. I gotta wait till she goes in. Just to give you a nice view. There you go. Okay. Let's potting mix. Okay. Outdoor planting. Now, what's the difference? Oh, premium potting soil. There we go. That looks good. I don't know. Planting mix. It's got a bunch of flowers. Laugh out loud. Apparently, apparently have to attach that cart to your side. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh... Thank you, squirrel. Now this says premium potting soil, 10 bucks. All right. And look, it says premium, it says filthy rich. <laughs> By the way, it says on the bottom of the tag, employee owned. This store is employee owned. That's the difference between that and Wally Mart. So let's see. Oh, child, this is heavy. Okay, a blend of composted bark, Canadian, peat moss. That sounds good, but then you have this one. It's got alfalfa, ground oyster shell. That's like a ten, that's like a dollar more. I think we should get this one since it says organic and all that. Oh, help me, Jesus. <laughs> My itty bitty cart. I think, the, I think the bag is bigger than the cart. Now that's just your ordinary topsoil. Your all-purpose potting soil is four bucks. Mm. I think I like this, at least what they're saying about it. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. I gotta put you down because I need two hands. <laughs> uh, 
Where uh, I I need squirrel. Squirrel, can you help me carry this? Hey Joshua, Lady Dark Sky, Victoria's Queen Bee. Lady Dark Sky again, squirrel. Thank y'all. Hold on, watch grandma. I need squirrel. Squirrel, jump out of the chat and pick the other end up. Here we go. Oh boy. Woo. Good gravy, that's heavy. All right, we're gonna go into the store. I may put the mask on, I may not. We have to, it depends. If one, per if one person coughs, the mask is going on my face. Oh, I gotta get my, uh, I gotta get my, uh... you have to show your card to get in. All right, hold on. Let's have a looky-loo. There was something else. Oh yeah, I wanted that clear nail polish. That hard as nail clear nail polish. Every Tuesday they have a giveaway, and each person on their card has an individual number. And if your number comes up, you win a prize. Okay, hold on. I'll try to get the door open. Oh, oh, thank you. Sorry, I'm I'm old and slow. You're welcome. You too. Okay. And let me. Okay, hold on. Let's have a looky loo. Excuse me. Oh, I don't know about that. Is your batteries? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, is that what it costs? I never knew how much that ring thing cost. I never knew it cost that much. I guess that's on sale. If you want a ring. Well, wait a minute. They got the doorbell for a hundred bucks. I don't know what that is, but they got that. All right. Let me take you on a tour. This is kind of like a, this is kind of like a country store. You know what I'm saying? They got updated good stuff, but they got country bumpkin things too. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing. This is insane. Oh my gosh. And there you have all your movies and stuff like that. And this is where you have your row of appliances. Dehydrator. Mmm. Ooh. 50 bucks for a roaster oven. That's not bad. That's definitely a consideration for grandma. Put that on the counter and you can roast. You want one of them fridges? Okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Looky, looky. Air fry, bake, toast, broil. Child, we have come a long way. Here's my hand. You see how big it is? Wow. Can you see that on your counter? I wonder if you'll save electricity if you have an electric stove. If you use something small. And then you got a... Look at this. It's got two. Double. Double. Double for your trouble. 80 bucks. Wow. Oh, yes, indeed. We come a long way, baby. Oh, yes. This right here, this right here, this right here. Grandma's buying this. Grandma's, I've been wanting one of these. Been wanting one of these. Why? When I cook. I can cook on my table. That's about the size of mine. Okay, let's go. 
Okay. I sure am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. See how nice they are in here? They ask if you need help. They don't do that at Walmart. Nothing on Walmart, but they sure don't. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just okay. We'll go like this. Shh, we don't tell anybody that. Mm. $12.99. Yeah. Let's see. Get some, get some toilet paper. Uh oh. Get some toilet paper. Okay. Mm. I need one of these, but I don't know how much it is. I definitely need one of these. I used to have one. I have no idea what I did with it. I may have, that may have been amongst the stuff that I, uh, when I moved out of Carolina that I sold with all my other stuff. Okay. Yeah. I wonder how much it is. If it's like $19.99, uh, I'll leave it. Let me leave it. I got to control myself. I got to control myself. All kinds of containers. Let's go down some aisles. Okay. Hi there. Welcome to Messy Hair and What I Really Look Like. <laughs> I hope you're all doing good. You know what's nice? You film in here and the music is really, really low. Please don't let that. I'll just keep going talking over the music and annoying you all because I don't want to get, I got to get away from that speaker. I want to show you the do 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 talking over talking over the music so I don't get copyrighted do 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 do. <laughs> Sorry for the close up. I don't mean that. Okay. Get it off my face. I'll just make sure that if a customer comes, you'll be on the floor. Okay. There's your work gloves. Ooh ooh. Let's take a look. Is all your stuff like that? All right, all right, all right. There we go. I quick want to get out of here because I got one other place to go. Oh, we've seen these on, on TikTok. We've seen these on the Whatchamacallit. How much do they cost? Hey, if you want that privacy thing behind you, that screen, so people can't see your house, 40 bucks. That's what it's called. All kinds of nice furniture. It's a nice quiet time to come here. Look at all the woodwork. Okay. I can't show that area because there's guns. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Nice and quiet in here today. Okay. Let me do this. Let's get out of here. Got to get out of here right quick and go to one more place before it closes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. Talking to my friend. Okay. You want to try to do the do the scan thing? And that hold on. There's your TP. There's your. Where is it? Okay. Well, this big, this big Bahama Mama. Oh, where is? Um. It's right there on the side. You got it. Yeah. All right. Forty dollars and ninety-seven cents is our total today. Okay. Give me a second. I'm trying to do. Let me slide you over there. Let me. Forgive, forgive me, Grandma's Grandma's slow. Okay, so it says to enter or swipe. Oh, we're going. Oh, you gotta enter the card. Oh, that's right. Chip. Oh. Yeah, chip. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, we want. Uh, okay, and then we gotta do this. So glad I found that potting soil. What do you plant? Uh, I've got 10. I went to the Dollar Tree. They have um, 
They've got seeds. I've got 10 different varieties of vegetables. I am so excited. Okay. It's good to have your own store. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you so much. You have a great day or great evening. We did it, kids. Okay. Yep. Okay. I gotta go over to my itty bitty little car. Hold on, I don't want to show people. Mm -hmm. That was painless. Now I just want to go to one, I want to go to one more place. It's kind of cloudy. I think we're all right though. Oh, I feel rain on my face. Summer breeze. Or spring breeze. Okay. Hold on. Open, open. Okay, I have to somehow, let me see. So, pardon the weird angle. Put my purse over here. Thank you all for visiting. Thank you for the thumbs up, everybody. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got our toilet paper. Oh, wait a minute, toilet paper needs to go over here. Oh, wait a minute. I've only been wanting one of these for about 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. I'll show you why I got this. I'll show you why. Ah. Ugh. Now we got to be got to be a good shopper and bring the cart back. Okay, lock the door. Don't forget if you want to return your car and you leave your car, lock your lock your lock your car just in case. Mm. Yeah. Plus that I parked so far away, I don't want her or him to have to come come all the way across the parking lot to chase my cart. That's wrong. I'm going to bring it right by the front door or right by the exit door. So you see, I'm telling you the truth. I bring it right by here, right by the door so they can come get it. They can come get it. They don't even have to walk in the parking lot. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Tired of looking at my face? <laughs> Child, I'm a mess. Ooh, it's a nice day here, though. But it's windy. This is this is how Oregon is. It's either sunny in the nice weather days. It's sunny. It's rainy. Sunny, rainy, or windy. And child, welcome to my reality. Look at it. Look, look at this. <laughs> We're keeping it real. <laughs> and it's okay if you can't. I'm going to lean you there. You're going to be kind of crooked. It's okay if you can't. Which one call it? Uh, yes. 91% alcohol, boo boo. I ain't playing. But I really wasn't like this near anybody, so I didn't. Okay, let's get let's get my head let's get my head on straight. Let me check the chat before I start driving. I'll open this and let some air in here. My windows are stuck up. Okay, let me see. We have Nez Lover, Cassandra Living Life, a dot artist. Squirrels, Magnet Fishing, Lady Dark Sky, The Next Supreme. Your P.O. Box is what mine was growing up as a kid. Really? Wow. 
Cassandra living life. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, share your channels. Hi, Dawn people again. I'm just making sure to acknowledge my chat. Uh, Sister Adina, Dawn people. Sheed, S-H-E-E-D, we here. Joshua Gabriel. Harry. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I love that area around Kennewick. I don't know if I've ever been to Ken. I might have been to Kennewick. I might have been. Tim, Tim takes me around. Thank you for liking and sharing, Joshua Gabriel. He said, I just liked and shared. And then Lady Dark Sky, I use pumice for my body scrub soaps. I made you burnt. Oh, but not for plants. I made you butt, not for plants. And Victorious Queen B. Yeah, I could have split it into two, but I know people think it's weird. I'm walking around talking to the can. They might think it's kind of strange. I don't care. Any kind of cell phone device you can buy online. There's a cell phone holder for four vehicle attaches to rear view mirror and 360 swivel. Woo -woo. Hello, Connie. Thank you so much for being here. Say hi to Sister Connie. She is our newest moderator. And I get away with putting you there. I forgot. I have this thing that I could probably hook up. I got to take these off. These are these are Dollar Tree specials. And they're kind of magnified. So what we'll do. Ciao. One more store to go. I still didn't get my clear nail polish, but I'll live. Okay. My Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree shades. I got to remember not to put the, the microphone is right there. And I made the mistake one day I was yipping and yapping. I was yipping and yapping and I had my, and I had my hand right over the microphone. It sounded all muffly. All right, let's go on this street, down the street, hang a left and go to the next store. I just want to take a look in it. I don't have much hope for anything there, but I got to take a look. I figure it's a beautiful day. I knew I had to go out. I cannot allow uh, Satan to keep me depressed. I need to get outside and I need to come back to myself, you know? I had a wonderful conversation with my boy, my son. We're going to hang a left onto South Highway 395. Hold on, see if I can show it to you. Right there. It's the, that's the main drag around here. You know, everybody says, 395. I'll just go to 395 and make a left. Well, let's see if I can get away with, I, I don't want to show, I'm trying my best not to show folks. Oh, oh there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, there's the, there's the, um, right there. There is a State Farm Auto Place. There's the Golden Palace Restaurant right there. But yeah, this is the main drag, the main main uh, main road. I have some of my Werther's Original. I'm going to try to pop one in my mouth because my throat is dry. I did not bring a drink. Normally, normally I bring a drink. I do not have the right of way. I got to wait for everybody else, so... Shum on, shum on now, people. There we go. Okay. Here we go. There is the Golden Palace restaurant. I have never... I think me and Tim went in there one time. Tim took me there. <coughs> I'm sorry for coughing. My throat is dry as a bone. But I got this. So, welcome to downtown Hermiston. That is considered public parking over there. Let go. On the right-hand side, coming up is the Chevron gas station. There is Banner Bank on your right. There's Nookie's if you like to go drink and have some chicken wings. You can go there. There's the current price of gas, $3 at least at that station. 
uh, that car right there that belongs to the owner. The price there is three dollars and seventy nine cents a gallon. We're coming upon Jiffy Lube. And the truck behind me is mad because I'm driving slow. <laughs> the Knights Inn. On the left, the Tire Factory. I got to pay attention to driving though. I don't want to get people mad. Various gas stations. Little Caesars, a nail, a nail place over there, US Cellular. You know, your basics. Panda Inn on this side. Brand new tires. Get them over there. Get the tires over there at Le Schwab. I think I'll turn it back to me. Be careful so I can open up my thing. But yeah, this is the main uh, main vein where all the restaurants are. And I think maybe back that way, back that away, I think is your Taco Bell. Burger King and McDonald's are up here, both on the right hand side. And Walmart. They're on their Walmart. Walmart a uh, DQ. Uh, Dairy Queen is first, then you have um, then you have um, McDonald's in the same parking lot as Walmart. Let's see if we can do this because I'm in the left lane because I'm going to take a left turn. But if you look to your right, you'll see the Dairy Queen. Let me do it like this. You'll see that Dairy Queen. Mm, they're hiring. There's your Dairy Queen, right? And down yonder, you can see the McDonald's arches. Jack in the Box is over there. Starbucks coffees, Starbucks coffee, Starbucks coffee, Jack in the Box. Just to give you an idea. So they have some places here. They got that's a sushi bar right there. That's such a uh, shiki sushi bar. I've never had sushi in my whole life. So, and I'll try to aim it because there's a SUV in the way. Not really in the way he's just minding his own business see there's the McDonald's and if you keep looking there is Wally World see Sherwin Williams and all that but let me uh, pay attention yeah and there's that's Panda Express on the right we're gonna be taking a left and we're gonna be taking a left in a minute you got the Home Depot over here Home Depot's over here. I know you can't see it. Please don't. Please don't. There's the Burger King. I'm coming upon AutoZone. Ace Hardware. And there is the Discount Grocery Outlet. There is that's the discount grocery outlet, but we're gonna we're gonna turn over here. Subaru dealership. That's a sporting sporting place, big five. That is Cycle Town. Cycle Town. But yeah, we're getting off uh we're getting off uh Route 395. I'm waiting for that to start blinking so I can make a turn but oh hey, hey it's green yay credit union and at the very end over there is where I used to wash my clothes and there is destination we're gonna see I probably won't buy anything from here but I gotta I gotta take a look There, yep. I know I shouldn't come here. <laughs> okay, I got some speed bumps. Oh, yeah, and there's a theater. I ain't brave enough to go in a theater with all these with all the people breathing the same air. Yes, I'm a coward, I admit it. So, oh, relief. So there you have basically my downtown. Everything, everything is located very close. It's a very small city. And like I said earlier in the broadcast, there's probably about, there was 17. I think there's over 18,000 people here now. I'm sorry to be making those weird sounds. My throat right there, dry as a bone. So... 
the last two times I came here, they had nothing. And the I think the time before the last, they had the, um, I think it was an exercise bike. And granted, it was new. new it wasn't brand new. Had a little digital screen. And they were asking at Goodwill, they got it for free. They were asking $179 for a used a used uh, bike. You know, digital, had the digital screen and all that. Again, I may have to slap this on my face. I'm going to put it over my ears. Uh, if somebody's coughing and acting crazy, I know that these are not 100% effective. I realize that. But I just don't want anybody... I don't want anyone's saliva in my face. So, <laughs> I'm just going to spray some 91% alcohol on here so I can wipe the handle of my wipe the handle of my cart instead of wearing gloves, I'm, you know, I know everything that I'm doing is not 100% foolproof, but I just think it's psychologically with me. It makes me feel better. Thank you for being with me. Uh, thank you. If you give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, leave a comment. All of that helps me. Brother Squirrel, are you still in here, Squirrel? Thank you, Legendary Beauty. Thank you, Sister Lena. Just like Jonesburg, Jonesboro, Arkansas says 60 plus and loving life. The city is small and all the stores and churches, etc., are very close to each other. Yeah. I got to keep my head on straight, Sister Lena. Make sure I'm doing things correctly. Okay. Okay, the bag is there. I've got this thing. I got my shades. I got my thing. 91% alcohol. Now let me show you the... I'm sorry. Every time I make a mistake and put the camera close up, I apologize. See? There's the theater. There's the Goodwill. And you go down a little further and there's that plaza that I showed you. Lock the car. Yeah, my hair is looking straight up crazy, but it's, I don't care. I like to be my true authentic hair. Uh, my true authentic hair. I like to be my, ooh, my true authentic. I'm trying to run because there's a car trying to turn. And I don't want to, I don't want to slow him down. I just, I did not want to put a bunch of hairspray in my hair. If I do that, I'll have to wash my hair again because I do not want sticky hairspray on my pillows. So what we're going to do, oh, it's nice and quiet. Okay. I will, I will throw that out when I come out. You know, I will. Okay, everybody. Like I said, I don't know. Back there is the bathrooms. The first thing you see when you come in here is the shoes. I really don't need, I, gotta, I have a feeling I need to put my mask up. Okay. Ooh, you see that? They used to be $6.99, $10 now. The price of, the price of shoes has gone up $10. Look at there, look at that. See, that's the price for most shoes. So that's $6.99, but because that has sparkles on it, that's $9.99, that's crazy. I can tell these are big like big like my feet. 
Ooh. That's not bad. What do you... That's not bad. What do you think? What do you think? Opinions? Yeah, they've gone up. It depends. What do you think? They look brand new. Ladies, what do you think? Yes, no? You... I love you too, Legendary Beauty. What do you think, y'all? Yes, no? You like them? Anybody? <laughs> Oops. Wake up, y'all. <laughs> I like them. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you, Nez Lover. I think we'll put them in the cart. We'll make the decision when we're all we're almost done, okay? And there they got the pants. See? I gotta match the yellow. And then you save half. Uh that's not yellow, that's red. Mm. Yeah, it's gone crazy. Boy, they're really thinking about me, but I am not paying $10. I don't mind $4.99, but I ain't paying $10. No, no, no. Mm -mm. All right. Excuse me, honey. Thank you. Sorry, if I could squeeze the cart and make her smaller, I would. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, honey. You first. Beauty before age. Go ahead. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, uh, no. Mm, I think I, uh, we'll just keep going. I'm not getting any pants. I'm looking for big baggy skirts. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm going by too fast, but uh, obviously, um, this is my hand. Obviously, I can't wear that. <laughs> We're just going to aim down, okay? Okay. Uh, Six ninety-nine. Four ninety-nine for shorts. Uh grandma doesn't wear shorts. The reason why I, hey Tess Cooks for you. Hey Rose L. The reason why I don't want to wear shorts is because I don't want to scare the cat or the public. <laughs> okay. I may have to talk a lot. If they start playing music, I'll start talking a lot. Forgive me. We're going to get over here real quick. Hold on. Uh, children's clothing is on this side. Let's, let's get an idea of what we're uh, paying for a stepper. $10 if you want an, an exercise stepper. I have no idea what this is but it's $40. I don't know if that's an exercise. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, it's $40. Hey, squirrel, $15 on the fish tank. Let's see. Okay, here's something, looks like 1960s. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That would have went with my old bed. Let's see. $90. Do you see? Do you see? For that. Here's. Oh, this must be a set or something. Maybe they have the rest of it. That's 149. You see the 149 dot? That's 149 dollars. There must be like a set. See? I mean, it's nice and everything, but ooh, 
You want if you want to cover your couch from your dog, it'll cost you thirteen dollars. I got to be careful because of this music. So if I if I'm talking and it's annoying you, I beg you to forgive me. But I don't want any problems. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna. Oh Lord, they're playing music. I gotta. I gotta keep. I gotta keep close and talk. <laughs> Okay. Hello, Pond and Garden Sanctuary. Welcome to my live and welcome to Goodwill. Just giving you an idea of their prices. That ain't so bad for a Black & Decker. $10 for the George Foreman Grill. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, I'm gonna get a new one. I don't know if that even works or not. You see that, Brother Steven? It's used, but I don't know if it's going to work properly, so it's a no-go. I'm going to keep talking till I get to the front. I don't know if I'm still going to get the shoes. I don't want YouTube to get me. <laughs> so let's go down here for a little bit. Okay, it's $6.99 for that. This is where they have their artwork. Oh, turn off the music, please. That's pretty nice. Yeah, wash your hands. Uh, oh, that's kind of cute for the kitchen. Country kitchen. Uh, that's the only danger when you come in, you know, on a Christmas tree. Oh, those are nice. Those are nice. That's nice. But uh, that's a no-go for Grandma. Again, I must continue to talk so that I don't have any problems with YouTube. And there you go. So let's go. Ooh. Ooh. See, this is what you do when you're doing live. Keep talking. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. I don't know if I have an occasion to wear it. Nez Lover. This is insane, but I really like it. I don't have anywhere to go to wear it, though. But that is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Wow, I like that. Hold on now. I always check the the ginormous, the ginormous, um, whatchamacallit. Okay, that's an extra large. I could wear that. Nice and soft. Hey, hey, it's a yellow price tag and it's 50% off. Oh, I got to get that thing. Look at that. Look at this. Remember the yellow price tags are 50% off? This is $2.50. Girl, please. Girl, please. Girl, $2.50. All right, Goodwill, you're starting, I'm starting to like you again. <laughs> Please, Lord, let me, let me continue to talk and make sense to my audience because I don't want YouTube to get me. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Yes, yellow price tags are 50. Ooh, 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 that's cute. Very cute. Oh, man. I wish they turned this music off. Turn the music off. Oh, goodness. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Mary Tyler Moore, 1960s. You know what that is? You know that. That reminds me of Mary Tyler Moore in 1960, doesn't it? See that? Okay, I just got to keep talking. This is the most challenging live of my life. Can I keep talking? Yeah, I can. It's some sort of a robe. It's got the see-through. That's very cute. Look at that. Very nice. You see this? Oh, Lady Dark Sky. Do you see that, Lady Dark Sky? Thank you so much, Tess Cooks, for you. Thank you, Carol. Love you. Do you see this? How much is it? Hey, it's $5. Wait a minute. Lady Dark Sky, do you like this? Late yeah, it'll fit. It's big. Look, hold on. It's made in, uh, it's really big. No, I'm asking, you like it? Okay, I want you to look at it real good now. Hold on, Lady Dark Sky. Do you really like this thing? No, you don't, I'm talking about for you, not for me. For you, I mean, do you like this for real? It's really long. Yes, no. Okay, Lady Dark Sky. Hold on a second. Look at that. Lady Dark Sky, I'm going to get this for you. Lady Dark Sky, I'm getting this for you. I'm going to wash it, though. I'm going to wash it, okay? 
Yeah. You know, I ought to do that every once in a while. Do a live and buy stuff for people. I have your address. I saved your box on purpose. The Lord told me to save that box with your address on it, though I have other boxes. All right. I probably threw the other box away. Forgive me for continuously talking, but these people are playing music, so I'm trying to be cool. Every yellow tag is 50% off. This, I really, I know you may not like polka dots. I can wear a cami under here to cover it. I know this looks corny to a lot of people, but I absolutely love this dress. It reminds me of the Dion von Furstenberg dress. She created the crisscross dress that uh, would get smaller or bigger. 1950s look to it. So, oh no, you ain't getting $10 out of me. If that was yellow, a yellow price tag, I could have saved 50% off. I could try to bargain with them. When did they put it on the floor? They put it on the floor on March, March the 19th. If it had been on the floor since February, then I could probably bargain and get them to drop the price. But it's only been on the uh, floor. I really love it though. I really love this dress. Oh my gosh. Ladies, I'm trying my best. It's too much. Yeah, the other one, this is for Lady Dark Sky, only $4.99. The other thing is $2.50 because it's got the yellow price tag. I'm sorry, I hate to leave you, but if they gave me this dress for $5, I would buy it. You know, I wonder if I could ask. I wonder if I asked if they would give it to me for $5, would they? You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask the clerk. I always try to ask. Oops. I'm going to ask the clerk. If she says no, we're not going to get it, okay? Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Do you see this? I don't need it for anything. I just want to admire it. Reminds me of Cher, Sonny and Cher. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, this is so much fun. I wish they turned. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. Look, 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 look at that. That right there, legendary beauty, legendary beauty. Oh my gosh, a wedding. Oh my gosh. See, I, I don't have places to go, but man, that's beautiful. They got some good stuff this time. You know what happened? People stopped shopping. They got mad. <laughs> they got mad. <laughs> they said, I'm never shopping Goodwill again. Oh, what's this? Yeah. This almost looks like pajamas, but this is what I was talking about, Dion von Furstenberg, the dress that crisscrosses and has the belt. Dion, Dion von Furstenberg, she styled that or designed it originally. And the reason why women love this is because if you got a big belly, you can loosen it. If, you, if you're tiny around the waist, you can pull it tight. You see that? So to me, the material makes it look too much like a robe. I like this. If it was in a different pattern, I would buy it if it was $5. I'm of the belief that at Goodwill, you should only play, pay $5. What's this? No. It's, this is nice if you want to be comfortable around the house, right? It's got, the, uh, it's got pockets. See, this is kind of ugly. <laughs> this is kind of ugly, but this is what you slap on right quick when you want to go down. You want to go to the store. You put on a pair of sneakers, you pull your hair back in a ponytail, and you throw this on because you're instantly all covered. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's kind of ugly. I'm not going to lie. See, even though I probably wear a size 16 now or a size 18, I always check the very big ones. I know that sounds crazy, but I go to the big side first because sometimes there's big items that'll still look good on you. They will drape on your body. My thing is I got a big belly. I have a big belly. It's 22. Uh, no. Yeah, that's what, yeah. A t-shirt dress is a real winner. A t-shirt dress with the slits on the side for summer. Come on now. I had a scarf like that blue. You did? Okay, how much is this? Be yellow, be yellow. No. Five dollars. Five dollars. I have one. The other thing here is how this has this little sewn feature there. But this is what you can live in in the summertime. 
You don't have to worry about, oh, what top will I wear? What skirt will I wear? You just get one big, one big long t-shirt. Then what you do is you put on your bangles, you put on your, your silver, some earrings, hair in a bun, a scarf part way up, hair part way up, part way down. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. That's that's the that is the that is the fun part. That ain't bad. Yeah, hold on. Let's keep going. This is all this is fine. If you like I said, if you got the big belly, you know, I have a big belly. I ain't gonna I'm not gonna front, I ain't gonna lie. I'm still thinking about this this right here. Mm. That's not too bad, but I still say five dollars is a better price. These this oh look at there. Liz Claiborne. Not bad. It just depends. Some people might find that kind of dowdy and kind of corny. They may not like it. I love this. It's too short. Why do I love this? This covers your neck and it's got the peekaboo that doesn't go down too far. I like that. But it's too short for me. It's too short. But that neck alone, you can put something right there if you chose to. That's pretty freaking cool. That'll cover up part of my... I'm sorry. That'll cover up part of my turkey neck. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> that's a nice scarf. Lady Dark Sky, that's a scarf. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's extra small. It can fit one of my big toes. It will not fit the rest of me. <laughs> it's brand new. And they want $10 for the scarf. Ladies and gentlemen, they want $10. I'm sure the gentleman would appreciate a, a younger person trying this on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. You see? Somebody, somebody, this is a, somebody, I do believe, brought a lot of their stuff here. Because two Calvin Kleins, two we had a, a largest size lady probably brought some of her wardrobe. This is nice if you're big. And again, you got the belly, right? If you have a belly, because you got this crisscross like that, you see? And then it drapes to cover your stomach or your lumps and bumps. See? That right there. That part right there. Okay. Oh, this is Mary Tyler Moore all day long. This is Mary Tyler Moore, 1961 or something. You see that? That's Mary Tyler Moore right there. Yep. You remember her when she had her little flip hairdo? Mary Tyler Moore. Can you see Mary Tyler Moore? Oh, it's not. Oh, her is not a belly cover. Oh, well. Um, Cotton. Belt it. This looks very, very comfortable. That feels very cottony. Oh, I'm sorry. You're very welcome. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but no. This right here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. You may think that this right here. What I like here is these. I like the sleeves. I like the neckline. Right? And then turn it around. See, most people would look at this and not like it, but I like it. You see there, you have to wear something underneath. But the back with the single button, that's like very elegant looking to me. And these sleeves, seven bucks, no, no. But the sleeves... A pair of cute sandals or a pair of lighter leggings. You could get away with that. That's very pretty. See, not everything is for everybody. Kind of like a t-shirt. A t I'm sorry, honey. Kind of like a t-shirt. T-shirt uh, looking with a scoop neck. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to 1980 and the disco. Can you see the disco ball above your head? 
Can you see the disco ball above your head and wearing too much rouge? <laughs> it's cute, though. It's cute. You could put a belt around the waist and it has pockets, but it's too small for me. That is cute. That is cute. Oh, wow. Okay, what's this? This is brand new. It's a Lane Bryant. Yeah, too much lipstick and the lipstick would bleed uh, through through the cracks of my lips. <laughs> I would wear this as a blouse. Yeah. It's got the buttons right there. This is nice. It is. If it was three or four dollars, I could get it. Yellow, yellow. No, they want thirteen dollars. Uh uh. No, you ain't getting my thirteen dollars. I just got a. I just got a. Uh, a whole dress for two dollars and fifty cents, and a pair of shoes for five dollars. No, this is nice. Oh, I like this. I like this. Oh, please be cheap. Please be cheap. Look at the bottom. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Oh, that's cute. Oh, who's been drinking the Kool-Aid? Look at that. That's like a, that's like to me would be a shirt. But look at that. Okay. Is this song? The song is saying "Run away, run away." I wish the song would run away. And then the arms. Look. What do you think? What do you all think? Yes, no. Goofy pattern. What do you think? Yes, no. Oh, I remember the 80s. The 80s were the best. They were fun. We did many terrible things. <laughs> I will not tell you what all the things I did, but some of the things weren't very nice. Hold on. The stuff on the floor. I'm going to put the st stuff up here. The stuff on the floor. I didn't put it on the floor, but I'm not going to leave it on the floor. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm just talking to my friends, getting opinions. So what do you, so what do you, what do you think? Eh, how much is it? I know I normally, do you like it? Yes, no, no, yes. Do we get a vote? I think with my white hair, that would look really cute. You know, that's not too young looking. It covers, it covers up. I'll put it in the cart and think about it. Okay. Okay. No, no. No. Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on now. What's this? Okay. Uh, this is a cover up or a dress. Oh, okay. It's a. It's designed to be both. It's a cover up with the dress underneath. No. Oh my gosh, this song is repetitive, and it keeps saying "run away, run away, run away." It's driving me crazy. This is really cute. This is really cute. Thank you, Goodwill, for turning off that doggone music. This is cute. This is cute. Oh my goodness. Size eight. I couldn't fit a thigh in a size eight, but it is so pretty. Some of you may think it's ugly, but I like the, I like the collar. I like that. Look 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 how it's sewn in the back. I used to wear a size eight. <laughs> and we know a size eight now. Okay. Uh no. Hey Michael Colantes. 1971. <laughs> Michael Colantes. Hola. Hola, mi amigo, mi hermano. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo está usted? Hold on, I see something long. I see something long. Okay. All right, that ain't bad for the summertime. Ooh, look at the top. Look at the top. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind. I bet you, I bet you, how much you, how much you bet it's $9.99? What do you think? Are you ready? Oh, that ain't bad. Ooh. Ooh. See, I got to be careful. I paid all my bills and got my computer. Now, now I'm getting ridiculous. That is so pretty. I want $2 off. Come on now, Lady Dark Sky. I got to leave it. I got to leave it. All right. Let's, let's. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. It's very light. Oh, I would, what I would do with that, uh, Lady Dark Sky, I have a black see-through cover-up. 
it's a black see-through cover-up, but it's really long, and it would cover my uh, it would cover my uh, my bingo bingo arms. See, I couldn't wear this like this because I got baggy bingo arms, you know. <laughs> the people in the store probably think I'm crazy because they think I'm talking to the clothes. <laughs> Yeah, I got those raggedy, those raggedy waving bingo arms. When I stop running and stand still, my arms are still running for about five minutes. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's $7. This is whatever this is. It's brand new. That's the brand. Oh, wow. That is cute. Look at look how it's sewn. Look how that's sewn. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Stretchy. Ooh, I can wear it too. Oh, it's probably $20. Mm, no. See, I wish they'd give me, give me oh, here's another t-shirt, but shorter. All right, y'all, hold on. One more thing. I think I've been in here long enough. Something that kind of caught my eye was this knit thing. What's this? What's this? Ooh, look at the bottom. I just feel like I'd be shuffling with my knees kind of taped together and then I could wear it. <laughs> I'd be like this. If I wore this, my legs would be together. I'd be walking like this. <laughs> it is cute, Michael, but my... <laughs> But my my feet, my size 11 big fat feet, they'd be glued together. <laughs> it is cute though. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on now. We, I like the vest. I always like the vest. Because vests cover your butt. See, I always like, you see me a lot on my channel wearing these. If it's $5, I'll get it. It's extra large too. That covers, that covers up all the sins of my cookies candy eating late at night this covers all your snacks <laughs> this covers this covers all your snacks if you eat too many snacks <laughs> oh guess what i'll rename this this is a snack ladies and some gentlemen this is what you call a snack cover <laughs> oh how much oh oh ah, ah. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm driving the customers in the store crazy. Why don't she shut up? She's talking too loud. Hold on. Mmm, that's kind of cute. It's too the material is too heavy. That's for winter time. Uh no, no. Okay. It's got the right price. Let's look at it. It's got the right price. Let's look at it. Let's see. Uh, uh, no, no. My bingo arms. I have to wear a cover up. Uh, I have to cover my arms with it. I got a lot of, I got about seven or eight cover ups, you know, that I could wear. No, no. I know it's corny, but I love long dresses. I love, this is nice. For summertime with your sneakers, your sandals. This is this is cute. Short sleeve. It's got the tie back. If you lose a little weight, you can tie it in the back. See the tie? And let's look at the price. Mm. No, I, I, I've got a few like this already. I, it's got to be something that looks completely different. There's lotion for that. Come on now. Yeah, the music is driving me batty. This is why I'm talking so much, uh, so a uh, YouTube will, will have mercy on me. Oh, here we go, Michael. What do you think, Lady Dark Sky? Should I mail it? <laughs> woo woo! <laughs> you see that? That's the back. That's the back. And for seven dollars, I can look like a hooker. <laughs> oh my gosh! Another scarf. Uh, no disrespect uh, to anyone that likes this, but uh, uh, yeah, one of my thighs could fit in there. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on, let's take a look at this. That's really cute, but it's too small. 
that's a nice, that is kind of a new version of the little black dress. The new version of the little back d black dress. I see sterling silver necklace. I see pearls. You know what I'm saying? A long chain. That is very pretty. It's very pretty. No. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on a second. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think Grandma is done. What is this? I see it looks like two pieces. This has two pieces. Hold on a second. It had... Oh, no, it's one big... Wait a minute. Oh, it's pants, right? It's pants. Like skinny leg pants. And then... I don't know what this is. Is this a blouse? Oh, okay. That's cute. That's cute. I can't, it's too young for me, but it's cute. That'd be very nice for a young girl. I can't wear it because, you know, you know why I can't wear that. All right. I think we're going to stop right there and just keep walking. I want to take you to, oh, I'm sorry. I want to, oh. I'm trying to get away from these clothes before I end up broke. I end up broke and cry, uh, crying to my son to give me a dollar. <laughs> so, oh, please, please with the music, please with the music. We're going to the front and we're going to the purses and I have to keep talking because the music is playing. So what I'm gonna do is get my face away from you, okay? Please, yes, stop that. I'm send. You can't send me any more. I'm sending you a. Dr I'm sending you that thing. I got it for you. I gotta wrap it up, and uh, I'm gonna wait because um, my my uh, sister from another Mister um, Deborah Catch It by Faith is doing something for me and my my granddaughter, my grand and my son, and I'll be having to go to the post office, right? So I'm gonna. Oh. $10. You gotta be kidding. $10? These people? This should be $3.99. A blue purse. We're getting close to the front. Can I continuously talk over this music? <laughs> okay, here we go. I gotta be careful. I don't know if he's gonna pay. Are you gonna pay? Are you in line? Okay, you're not in line? Alright. Hold on. I got a, um, which one, honey? Right oh, in the middle? Okay. I had one question. Hold on. I got to turn this toward my face. Okay. I had a question about one item, but I'll put these up here first. Oh, my gosh. You know what I call that? I was joking with my friends. My friends are looking at my face right now because mm -hmm. it covers, it covers this. Mm -hmm. It's called a snack cover for all the snacks we ate last night. There we go. <laughs> Oh, please. I'm 63 years old. I got to have my snacks. Oh, God bless you. Okay. Um, let's see. We didn't get too many. We're not too, not the damage. The damage isn't too bad. <laughs> Lady Dark Sky. We got it, Lady Dark Sky. I'm buying this for one of my friends. Wow. And, okay. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I would come in. Hey, look at here. We scored a hit. Oh, scored. Um, the, pro, the, the, some of the stuff, it just wasn't. That good? Yeah, it wasn't hitting me that good. So I said, well, I'm going to. And then I came twice, and I couldn't find anything. This is the question that I had about this polka dot dress. Okay. Uh, it's only, it's, hey, you, all you can do is ask. You think they'd be willing to come down a couple of dollars on that price? I really love the dress. Would they be Four willing? Just ago. like it has to be a couple of weeks before they'll be ready. A couple of weeks. Yeah. Should I get the nine ninety nine? I really like it. Should I get the nine ninety nine? Yes, no, real quick. I'm gonna let it go. Mm -hmm. I won't. I won't get it. Maybe when I come back in a couple of weeks. Grandma's on a budget. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. I'm yippee yapping. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me get my. Please tell me I have. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm actually live, but I'm very careful. The cameras on my face are on the clothes. Mm -hmm. 
Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta give him my Jane, my Jane, Jane Hancock here. Uh oh. Thank you. Okay, thank you so very much. You do the same, and hopefully, maybe once a month, I can come in. Thank you. Oh yeah, gotta have my my uh, my shoes. Okay, yeah, we left it. I had this. I had to stick to my guns and my budget. Lady Dark Sky, I'm going to hand wash that thing. Okay, to the car we go. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, and they go. All right. Okay, starting the starting to rain. What if what's not there? Oh, I don't care. It's just a dress, Lady Dark Sky. I I I, I don't like paying. I'll pay six ninety nine maybe, but I ain't paying ten dollars. Oh, it's windy. Oh, it's like a hurricane. I'm being blown around. <laughs> help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. My car is kind of, my car is out of control. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hold on. I, I got my foot under the, the back wheel of my car so the car don't fly. They don't give you bags here anymore. You know how, the, how things are going. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I got to get back in my car. Yeah, Lady Dark Sky. I'm going to hand wash. You know what? I think I'm gonna put all the items in the washer. Just to let you know, Lady Dark Sky, I use clean and clear, okay? Lady Dark Sky, I use clean and clear all detergent, the kind that has no paraffins, no dyes, and stuff like that. So, oh, I gotta get my uh, piece of tissue out of the thing. You gotta bring the car back. Oh, I gotta lock the car, hold on. What I say, I gotta lock the car. When you put stuff in your car, and you walk, oh, the car wants to go. Woo! Oh my gosh. You like my hair? <laughs> oh, help me. Woo! Yeah. What did I tell you? I told you it either is windy, overly windy. I look like I'm 100 years old. I just, I, I, I just looked at my reflection. I just looked at my reflection, my full-length reflection. I look like I'm 100 years old. <laughs> okay, we got to do the right thing. Hold on. Throw it away. Whew. You all are so patient with me. Thank you for being with me. Can I get this thing off my face now? I really wasn't around anybody, so I didn't feel. There wasn't really hardly anybody in the store. But I'm pretty sure they're glad I left because I kept talking. <laughs> I'm so glad she's on with her big mouth. Let me show you. See? This is what? One of 360? There you go. This is the big cloud over Grandma's head. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of cloudy. It feels like it's about 50 degrees. Oh, I gotta unlock. A storm's coming, and my stormy butt is getting in the car. Woo! Oh, sha! Yeah. Oh, my, my dress, my skirt got caught. Hold on. Oh, my good. Oh, I got to spray my hands. Hold on. Before I do anything, I need to put my purse here. Don't want to touch nothing. Hold on. Can I... Can I? Oh, yeah, it's raining. I gotta put my, I gotta put my, my hands are dripping. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, Lady Dark Sky. When I get home, I'm gonna put it on a gentle a. I'm gonna take all that clo all the clothing. And we're going to put that uh, in the gentle cycle, warm, warm, gentle cycle. Okay. And then we'll let it, let it dry. And then I'll, I'll put that in a, a, a thingy. I'll let you know when I have the box that you sent all your goodies, uh, all the beautiful gifts that you sent me. The box is in my bathroom on the counter. I am not even kidding. So I can send it. I can send it. My hands got to dry. I can send it to you. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, can I do something? 
There we go. That's a lot better. Hmm. Let's see how many dresses I can. You need to stop. You need to stop, Lady Dark Sky. We're, we're going to start be throwing stuff. Lady Dark Sky, send me some. I'm finally sending her something. I'm finally sending her something. The reason why it's hard for me to reciprocate and send stuff back is because uh, I'm financially challenged. <laughs> and I was trying to pay Mr. Tim and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But I always make sure that if someone chooses to, by God Almighty's grace, if they feel like they want to send something to me, I make sure they are shouted out on my channel and the whole world knows. That's why I made sure for, I got to make sure to do that. Like when the artist sent, and when I went on live and I shared Lady Dark Sky and I put her in the, uh, um, my mind, I, um, shared her channel link in the description. So you, if you go over to my lives, you'll see me saying love mail. Thank you. Lady dark sky. If you go to that video, you, you can drop, of course you can drop your link right here. Lady dark sky. Anybody is welcome to drop their channel link. Anybody. Or if somebody does not is not a moderator, if you don't have a blue wrench and you want your channel dropped, just ask a moderator, say, can someone drop my link? That's, a, you know. So, Grandma Lynn, but darn it, these prices when I buy dresses need to understand that an extra large, exactly. I notice now when they say extra large, extra large to me with some garments is like a large i will buy i i, I probably can get away with an extra large but i will buy a 3x this here is a 3x remember when i bought this from seven for seven dollars it's got the pockets i bought this from walmart right i got the t-shirt for about two or three dollars and then i just put them together like that right um, I can get away with a barely, I don't like wearing extra large. I like XX large, but depending on how it's cut, I can squeeze an extra large. A XX large is perfect. A X, a triple X has to be a jacket or something because a triple X is just, it's just too, too big. But yeah, they, they got it to where the sizes, it seems like they're smaller. And if you order from Timu, you know that new site, everybody's doing the, uh, the videos with Timu. When you order from a company like that, it's based like in China. You, you got to order the biggest size there is. My sister, Anna, my sister on here, Anna with an H at the end. Anna Aries did a Timu haul. She bought some pajamas and I think she got a double, a double X and we're probably almost the same size, but she ordered a, a four X or a three X, excuse me, because she ordered it. It's from China and they, they make their sub stuff a lot smaller. When you order from China, you got to order way big. Thank you so much. Nez lover. I have not ordered light in the box. Do you like your experience with light in the box? I've been tempted. Light in the box, if I remember right, they got a lot of nice dresses on light in the box. Yes, Lady Dark Star, a 3X. A 3X. Thank you, Brother Marquise. I'm going to slide to the very beginning of the broadcast chat. But we have been live from my uh, downtown Oregon, from my town. Where did I put my... Oh, my keys are in the ignition. We got a look, we got a cloud cover and a little bit of rain. Okay. Hi, Queen Bee. God bless you, says Lady Dark Sky. We have Lady Dark Sky, Nez Lover, Harry, Victorious Queen Bee. Thank you so much, Harry. I appreciate you. 
I appreciate you visiting. Moco, Michael, I'm saying Moco, Michael Colantes. Thank you all the way from Miami. Yeah, they don't wear a mask. I just put the mask under my chin. If I go by someone that's coughing and coughing, uh, I don't want their their I don't want their spit in my face. <coughs> Squirrels magnet fishing. Squirrels magnet fishing. Thank you so much, bro. <coughs> Thank you so much, bro. Can I have a Werther's original, please? Thank you so much, a squirrel's magnet fish fishing. Is squirrel squirrel's probably not still here? Joshua Gabriel, victorious queen bee. Sheed, we hear S H E E D. We hear. Yeah. Yeah, Lady Darsky said Amazon is twice as, ex as expensive. Exactly. And then I don't have Amazon Prime, so $25 or more, and most of the time you get free shipping. Thank you, Sister Connie, so much. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Sister Lena, a.k.a. 60 Plus and Loving Life. 60 Plus and Loving Life is our Sister Lena. Thank you, Pond and Garden Sanctuary. I want to know if Pond and Garden Sanctuary is still here. He probably is not. Thank you, Tess Cooks, for you for visiting. Thank you, Rose L. So much. Thank you, Legendary Beauty. And thank you for saying, Tess Cooks for You said, you are doing fine, Miss Lynn. Thank you so very much. I want to know if Brother Stephen of Pond and Garden Sanctuary or my other brother is still here. I'm and the artist, my 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 sister from another mister, my yet other sister from another mister, duh. That's D A artist, the artist. Thank you, sister. I'm still sliding. Thank you to my brother from another mother, brother Marquise Payne, Marquise Payne, P A Y N E. Thank you, sister Kim. Thank you, Sister Kim, KE Vlogs. Thank you. There is a site. I'm talking about YouTube and being on social media. Some of you may know the site. It's called Social Blade. Social Blade, like a knife. Social Blade. And, and you, if you go on there and type in the upper right-hand side is their search bar right you can type in a person's name and it'll tell you everything about the channel it'll tell you the latest upload it tells you how much money they make uh, it tells you where they're ranked in all of YouTube so they rate you in an alphabet system from A to F for nine years I have been a C plus I have been rated on Social Blade a C plus for nine years. I never went up. I never went down. I checked it yesterday. I'm a B minus on Social Blade. I made it after nine years to a B minus rating. Uh, that doesn't mean anything, but I was happy. It only took nine years. <laughs> I was talking to Brother Stephen and Brother Squirrel when Pond and Garden Sanctuary, a.k.a. Stephen, I told them about the channel, about the, um, about the website. So on live, they went to look at it. And I said, put my name in there. And I was a C plus. 
one of his friends that was visiting the live was a B minus. I said, do you know how difficult it is on Social Blade to get to a B minus? I have been a C plus forever. So yesterday I checked it just being nosy, just being nosy. I'm a B minus on there. Thank you. Yep, I'm a B minus. Nez lover, I passed the grade. It only took uh it only took a few more wrinkles. <laughs> It doesn't mean anything. I guess it meant something to my mind. And you know why I think that happened? Two live broadcasts over five hours. Numerous, numerous videos, numerous shorts, news stories, uh, stories about movie stars, I just been throw I just been I've been just I just been throwing stuff. I've been throwing stuff at YouTube. A throwing. If it comes to my mind and I feel like sharing it even if it looks stupid or goofy, I'll share it. If it's too ridiculous, I won't. I think the more engagement at YouTube Maybe Social Blade notices there's more engagement. I don't know. That's the only difference. I slowed down for a while. I would just do a live every once in a while. Hey, Brother Steven. Stephen from Pond and Garden Sanctuary. Remember when we were on your live Pond and Garden Sanctuary? We were on your live broadcast and I told you about Social Blade. Remember? Social Blade. And I'm a C plus. Hi, Brother Marquise. Pond and Garden Sanctuary, I'm now a B minus. Remember when I told you a B minus would be kind of good? but I've never been able to achieve it. Pond and Garden Sanctuary, Brother Stephen, I'm a B minus on Social Blade now. Does that mean anything? No. It makes me look nice. Uh, they, you know, they're not going to send me, they're not going to send me a bag of potato chips. So, so what does that mean? I don't think it means anything except to my mind to encourage me to keep trying. But unbelievably, I don't know if it changed, but I set up my laptop last night and I decided I, it just popped in my mind. Why don't you check Social Blade again and see where you rate? I checked it and I'm a B minus. Uh, to be an A plus, you gotta be PewDiePie. You gotta be, you gotta be Mr. Beast. You know, you gotta be Mr. Beast. You know, like I don't know. Hey, zero, zero, the infinite renewed. Welcome. You were a plus, Lady Dark Sky. Come on now, Lady Dark Sky. That's yeah. <laughs> look, Lady Dark Sky. If you were a plus, you could be an a plus again because you're already a plus. Come on now. I'm not buttering your bread. You're the first person I have met on YouTube. You know, like us. You know, we don't have 50,000 subscribers like, you know, like us. That was an A plus at one point. That is freaking amazing. And I am not kissing your butt or buttering your bread. I'm telling the truth. That's hard to do, in my opinion. That is hard to do. We got to go over. I got to get my clear. I am not going home. I'm going over to what I, I hate to. I hate to do it. I am sick and tired of Walmart, but we will go over to Walmart. If you can't hang, it's all right. 
we're going to go over to Walmart. I want to get my Sally's, my Sally's clear because I'm not wasting the gas to start my car, be downtown and not go down the street to Walmart. That's stupid to go all the way home and wait three days and go again. No, we got to get about seven or eight cans of wet cat food, my wet cat food. And then I want to get my Sally Hansen's clear polish. Yes, Lady Dark Sky, we switched it up. You got me in polish. You got me looking cute. Lady Dark Sky is responsible for my nails looking cute. Yeah. So we got to be careful. I got to calm down. This is so exciting. See, a lot of people may think this is boring, but it's exciting to me. I got to turn my lights on. If you use your wipers, of course, you got to turn your lights on. So let me see if I can do it. Okay. Yeah, people drive crazy around here. You got to be very careful. Oh, can we do it? I think we can squeeze it. We can squeeze it. See, they have the two the two speed bumps. We'll show you how close. This is Goodwill, if you just got here. I'm going to show you how close Goodwill is to Walmart or Walmart to Goodwill, okay? So... Oh, I gotta wait. Somebody's coming. He's coming. He or she's coming. Oh, wait a minute. A van's coming. I don't know where these people just come out of nowhere. Okay. Let go. I'm gonna show you how close that is. Now, we just left. We're coming down the street. This main road, this crossing road is... It's Highway 395. Uh, oh no, this is North First Street right here. But North First North First Street is 395. Highway 395 as well. There's the pet store. Oh. I'm gonna show you how close. There's Harbor uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Next up is Harbor Freight. That's a great place. Harbor Freight's got a lot of nice tools. There is Midway Bar and Grill. There is Burger King. Okay. I'll show you this start of the street. Right here, there's Taco Bell. Okay. This is, this is, uh, they call it North First Street, but it's Highway 395. This is the main road in my opinion, downtown Hermiston. This is where all the places are. I'm uh, coming up is Panda Inn. There's Walmart. You see what I'm saying? See what I mean? Everything is so close. Jack in the Box is across the street. But now I gotta wait. Dairy Queen is right there. And there's McDonald's. And there is the Walmart. Oh, it's packed. Oh boy. That's how close everything is. That is the plus side side of living in a t uh, in a city. Excuse me, living in a city that has about 18,000 people. That's the plus side of it. And child, if you could find a if you can find a job locally, you're golden. Turn off my lights. If you can find a job locally and then find a cheap apartment, find an El Cheapo apartment, right? You can do pretty good here with an El... I'm trying to lean you on the seat because I forgot my thing. The only other thing we got to do is get some gas. So I'm thinking to myself, I got to be careful here, I'm really thinking... I don't need a cart. I don't need I don't need a cart. Not for six cans of not for six cans of um I'm trying to think if I can 
You know what I can do? I got these clear sandwich bags. I can take the stuff out of one. I'm just going to bring my little sandwich bag in. Why? Because I can put the six cans of cap. They don't have any bags. It, you know, as all of you probably know by now, all of you know, no plastic bags. You got to bring your own or buy their, buy their reusable. So we're going to go into Wally World. I'm going to fold this little bag up. Here, here, here's my grocery bag. I forgot. I have this, but I don't want, I don't want to use that bag. Okay. I'm sorry that I take so long, but I'm kind of like, I got to be very careful because I forget stuff and it drives me nuts. Make sure that I have my card, my debit card. Let me see. There it is. Okay. We got the debit card. I don't need an ID. I got scared out of my mind. I didn't see my wallet. <laughs> uh, you know how many times that I, I've gone to my car, I started warming, I started warming up my car, and then I realized I left my wallet, I left my bag, the bag that I carry my um, the bag that I carry my mask and my lipstick and my stuff in. And then I gotta lock the car, take the extra keys lock the car by hand, walk around to the back, get what I forgot and come back to the car. I've done that so many times, it's not even funny. So I literally have a conversation with myself before I take my hiney out of the car. Now, there are a lot of people in Walmart. So yes, I will put this over my, probably put this over my face. I'll put it over my ears. I understand that probably just makes me feel better but I've run into so many people in Walmart that cough that cough and you can hear them coughing from their chest uh that's when I'll pull it up I'm like I don't want uh please I don't want even if you have a regular cold I don't want your cold no disrespect but we'll have it here so I pull it up if I have to I'm trying to decide, should I bring the thing? I don't, I think I better bring, I better bring it. So I want my uh, Sally Hansen's, uh, Sally Hansen's hard as nail clear. And I want cat food. And I'm just thinking, I'm running in my mind, anything else. Because I don't want to go to the stores again. Uh, I, I, mm -mm. And I'm going to stop and get some gas before, um, before I go home to make sure the tank, the tank is less than half. So why am I talking out loud like this? I'm trying to remind myself, you understand? It's called menopause. <laughs> I hate when I do that to myself. I come out, I get everything that I think that I need. And then I forget something and I got to start up the car and come out for one more thing. It drives me bonkers. Yeah. Mm. milk bread butter cheese i got the cheese i got the margarine i got the eggs i got the bread i got the chicken i'm glad you said that because lady dark sky pasta yogurt cat food exactly cat food and clear nail polish a paper towel with not stop. God is helping me. God is God is helping me. If I may be transparent with you, God is trying to help me not to be terrified to go in the store, to be so covered. It's a it's a habit. I didn't hear anybody in any store coughing or sneezing or nothing. But I got my 90, I think it's 91% or 81%, I forget. I normally have my wipes with me. But if I need to get a cart, I, you know. All right, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. The car lights are off. And my son is coming to me. We had a very long talk last night, and we were texting today. I do believe, let's say I'm 65% sure that my son is coming to me. 
and I'm going to lose my mind when I see my son in person. In the summer, in the summer, he's coming here. I said, son, I purposely, when I come to Walmart, I purposely park far away because I figure I'm getting a little bit of exercise and moving my legs around instead of, you know, because when I'm home, I'm sitting down, sitting outside. So whenever I go to Walmart or I go to a store, you know, Walmart primarily, I'm, I live at Walmart. I, um, whatchamacallum, I park far away on purpose so I can walk. If you don't use it, you lose it. It's you got to get out and walk around some a little bit. Lady Dark Sky, thank you so much for being here. You are a very much an encouragement today to me. Yeah, there's a lot. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people. Oh, there's two men. Oh, uh -uh. no. There's like a billion, a billion people. Oh Lord, help me. Lord have mercy. Ciao. Okay, hold on, good one. There you go, boo boo. 2698 if you would you like a nice bathing suit oh music's playing i gotta talk i forgot i'm supposed to talk talk i'm coming over a speaker i gotta talk i'm getting away from the speaker oh you want 15 dollars for a pair of shorts let's keep going don't want to mess up we don't want to mess up stop playing music walmart stop playing music la 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 <laughs> welcome to 19 Welcome to 1975. Welcome to 1975. Again, welcome to 1975. I used to wear this. I used to wear stuff like that in 1975. Sure did. I got to keep talking over the music, so forgive me because I don't want to be on all this time and lose this. <laughs> so we will, we will go to the back. My gosh, the music is too loud. Let me get away from this side. Okay, here we go. Let's keep walking. Every speaker is playing music loud. Can you believe this? Oh, God, help me. <laughs> here we go. There's people, so I got to be careful. For $8.98, you can get the Atkins. Okay, here we go. Praise God. Let's go. Oh, seems like I'm near every speaker. <laughs> I'm dodging and talking so I don't get in trouble with the with the with the tubey tube. And yes, they do have seeds. The the the, the place I want to go is way in the back. There you go. Now we are gonna go over. We're looking for Sally Hansen hard as nails. Sally Hansen hard as nails. Alright. So if I have to keep talking, I'll just keep talking. Probably going to drive the clerk crazy. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Where is Sally Hansen? Where is Miss Hansen at? Wait a minute. Oh, we're getting more. Ah! <laughs> Dries instantly. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, do you see that? Ooh. Oh, my gosh. It's gold. How much is that? How much is this? Is that, is that real? Hold on. Is that three dollars? Oh, that is that is beautiful. Oh my gosh! Hold on a second. Where is the other one? Where is the other one? Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh! Dries instantly. I don't like the thought. Now that right there, my nails is too, my nails are too short. So I'm trying to decide. Oh my gosh! This woman is talking really loud. You think I got a big mouth? Okay. Now that says double duty base and top coat. Okay. 
Wait a minute. What's that? Okay. I like the this right here. Oh, we got to try this gold. It's gold. Okay, wait a minute. I'm look. Oh, wait a minute. Diamond strength. Yeah. Oh, this is going to cost me. Oh, this is going to cost me. This stuff is good. This stuff is good. Okay, hold on. I got to pay back here. Hold on. Okay. Let me turn. I'm going to put this toward my face. Are you enlightened? Okay. No, I'm my sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a younger sister, Carmen. We're the same way. We love each other, but then we drive each other crazy. But then if somebody messes, we're like this, you know? <laughs> Oh, that one I can't get it off the phone. Come on, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. I gotta. I gotta talk over this music, y'all. Hold on a second. I know it's here. Okay. I'll put this over here before I forget and be crying when I get home. Okay. Let me put the card in there. I gotta talk over this music. I'm gonna be annoying for a while. I'm on YouTube right now, and uh, would you like cashback? No. Do, 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 Thank you. Remove card. Put card in the purse. I'm sorry for the weird angle, y'all, but literally there's a speaker above my head. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Have a nice night. Okay, you do the same. Thank you for being patient with Grandma. I'm just going to put this. I didn't bring a bag, but I'm kind of lame. I brought this. <laughs> Come on now. I remember you from last time. You're really nice. Thank you. You too. So this will be my bag. <laughs> Sha. It's my bag. <laughs> now we got to cross over right quick. And I'm trying to get away from the speaker. It's annoying as heck. Okay. I've got my receipt in my hand in case an employee sees me with a plastic bag. Now, what do you got in that bag? I got my receipt. <laughs> Lipstick and sofrito, hola. Lipstick and sofrito. Do you see the young, the, the beautiful young woman in the chat? Her, her name is Lipstick and Sofrito. We have been subscribed to each other probably since about 2014, 2013. Oh yes, indeed. Go over and check out Lipstick and Sofrito. Somebody dropped Lipstick and Sofrito's, uh, her, uh, her thigamabobber so you can find her channel, please. Her link. We're gonna go to the other side of the store. I'm out of breath to get the uh, to get the cat food. I need about seven cans of wet cat food. I've got about seven cans on hand. Um, uh, two cats share a can. My cat doesn't eat a whole bunch. She maybe will eat three, two or three tablespoons per serving, and then the dry food, and then. Her, her, her kitty cat crack is her snacks, you know, that snack, greenies. That's the other thing. I'm so glad I'm blah, 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 blahing because I just remembered I need to get the greenies, the, the kitty cat, the kitty cat, the kitty cat crack. <laughs> Welcome to Over 50 and Fantabulous. My name is Lynn. That's my nickname, not my government name. If you are, if you are scrolling through YouTube, and you are looking at lives, and you ran across my wrinkly old face and my white hair, welcome, and thank you for stopping in. Please hit the thumbs up button if you so choose. Grandma has 28 thumbs up. I could use a couple more for an even 30. Now we're over, we're gonna come around here, and I'm gonna turn this around, making sure not to show people. And I'm, I gotta keep talking, because if I don't talk, YouTube will say, you're playing music in the background. So let's get over here right quick. This is what I can finally show you. Look at this. Let me see. Okay. Sorry, we got disconnected. Oh, they're playing Tina Turner. I got to be careful. Look at the pill pockets. You stick a pill in there for your for your cat. Do you see that? Oh, I got I got to hurry up because Tina Turner's playing. You better be good to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rose L. Gotta be now. Hold on, let me turn it around. Got to use for what you loosely call the truth. You better be good to me. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> I got. <it. laughs> okay, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a box. 
I'm gonna use a box, and I gotta I gotta keep talking because I got Tina Turner is singing in the background. I ain't got no use for what you loosely call the truth. I ain't got no time for your something something lies. Sorry, I like this. I like the the beat of the song. I can't dance though. Come on, Tina, sing it. What am I doing? I'm doing this. Come on, Tina, sing it. But don't sing too much because I don't need a copyright. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, I got to turn this toward my face because... Uh-oh, let me keep talking. I got to get away from Tina. Is he good to me? Why can't you be good to me? <laughs> Miss Tina Turner is the bomb.com. I'll tell you what, that woman went through, you know, H-E double hockey sticks with Ike Turner. She sure did. I think she's in her early 80s now, 82 or so. You rock, Tina. Tina Turner rocks. So we got our stuff. Now we got to go to the other cash register and pray that the music isn't so loud. And then we can get out of the store. We can run. Run! Run, Forrest, run! No use for what you loosely call the truth. And I don't have no time. I know all the words. You're good to me. See, if you sing over the song too, you're good to me. You won't have any problems. Sing it, Tina. Hey, why can't you be good to me? Why can't you be? Don't mind me. I'm just singing. Go ahead, baby. I got mama and babies, and they're gonna. They're ahead of me. Don't worry. This is in my face. It's not on y'all. Good to me. Why can't you be good to me? Why can't you be good to me? Okay. Let's let's rock and roll, boo boo. Okay. Do, 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 do. Thank y'all so very much for being here with me. I do appreciate it. You each and every one of you are an absolute blessing. Thank you so very much for, for your donation, sister. I do appreciate it. I'm so ever so grateful to you. The best donation you can make to me is to pray for me and pray for my son, pray for my family. Thank you so very much for your prayers. Your prayers, your prayers availeth much. And in my humble opinion, they get God's ministering angels on the run. Oh yes, yes they do. You, as you have seen, you see me laying down on the blessing that my son sent me. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, got everything in the box. I got the greenies. Did I do the greenies? We did the greenies. Yep. Got my, got my receipt for the other three. Let me get my card. Use pen pad to complete transaction. Hey, this... Uh, the bags are zero. Quantity needed. Insert cash cash or select cash. payment type. I hear that in my sleep. Insert cash or select payment type. Use to, to complete, complete transaction. Use pin pin. Okay. Waiting for the approval. Please approve. I don't think I spent too much today. No cash back. No, no. No, no. No, we on a budget. Remove card. Okay. Put card in purse. Zip purse. Why can't you be? All right. Make sure when you're leaving the Walmarts. I got my oh. I'm gonna rate. I'm gonna. It says for you to rate one through five. I gave them a five because I had a very smooth experience. Okay. So I got both my, I got both my receipts, cause just in case they ask, I don't want to have, uh, uh, you know, ain't nobody there. But <laughs> like, like my bag. <laughs> okay. okay honey sorry no you don't have to be sorry at all honey you're good 
All right, it looks, I'm trying to hold this. I wanna ah, put you in this hand. I don't, ooh, I don't wanna drop you. Woo, Chell. Okay, thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Hold on, I wanna turn it around. Thank you, Bill Meyer. Thank you, everybody, for supporting me. Thank you. I purposely park far away so my big chunky behind can disconnect it for a second. There you have it. There's a 360. I like to stop every once in a while. Give you the 360. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Help, help me. Woo, it's windy. I'm freezing my big toes off. Ah! Every car is trying to pull out as I'm walking. Oh, there's my car. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ooh, yeah. Ugh. I don't know how long I've been out here, but. And then I gotta press my key fob so I can open the. I gotta open the car. Oh, thank you. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh, have mercy, my good mercy. Woo. Child, I don't want to see another store. I don't want to see another store. Oh, but I thank God, Lord, thank you for bring, bringing me from a job loss to uh, no unemployment to help to a new bed to everything you've done for me, Jesus. I have no complaints, Lord. I am so grateful. Thank you, Father. I, I am not complaining. I am not complaining. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. That gold nail polish, cha, I couldn't leave it in the store. I could not leave that in the store. Heck to the no. Let's spray with 91% or so alcohol. Spraying. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Boy, I'm I, I ain't taking my polish off for another three or four days, but that gold polish, that gold polish could not be left in the store, boo, boo Give me a second. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we got one more stop. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get some gas. Oh my golly jeepers. Hold on. Hold on. Let me wipe this. And just, just do that right quick. And where's the other one? And just, yeah, that diamonds. I I remember that diamond stuff is really good. This right here, oh boo boo, this is really good. It's four dollars and twenty eight cents. I think it was. This is really good. It's the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength. No chip nail color. The Sally Hansen. Di it's diamond strength. This stuff is good. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm telling you that I know it's kind of hard to see. Diamond strength. It's what was it like 428, was it? Hold on. Let me give you the exact price. Wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, blah 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 blah. Four dollars and forty-eight cents. Four dollars and forty-eight cents. And we spent, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that was $4.48. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we spent $7.66 getting my baby some Frisky's cat food and her greeny snacks. Oh, yes, indeed. And we got our, our Goodwill stuff in the back. Here, right here. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh, do you see this right here? It says, I was just looking at the color. It says what it is, a growth treatment infused with keratin, collagen, and multivitamins to help promote growth and improve nail health. Allegedly, allegedly, who knows? This costs over six bucks. It's the most I've ever spent on a nail product. 
but I paid all my bills and I got my computer. So thank you, Jesus. We're about to get some gas. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put, I'll put this on live. I won't do it today. I wanna, I like my pink. We'll hold on to the pink for a while. But we gotta try this live, and then we gotta try it for two weeks. We're gonna clean them off. We're gonna buff them. We're gonna push our cuticles back, and we're gonna try this and. And we're going to see with the two weeks, we're going to see, will we get any kind of, will we get any kind of growth from what they are saying? You know what I mean? A lot of products make all kinds of claims, you know? Shimon now. I'm just spraying the, don't mind me, I spray stuff. I spray stuff. Please be patient with grandma. If you cannot stay for the entirety of this broadcast, I'm just grateful you showed up. Do you know we got 31 thumbs up? How about it? How about we got 31 thumbs up? That's a miracle. That's a miracle. I think the most thumbs up we ever got was, some of you may remember that day, we got like 51 or something. I I forget what the video, I forget what the video was about or whatever, but I was on live and people kept going in and coming out and go, you know, coming into live and leaving and they would be kind and leave me a thumbs up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we got 49 or something like that. And then somebody in the crowd came up and dropped a couple more thumbs up. And then we went to over 51. I almost lost my mind. I said, do you know how many years? I said, do you know how many years I have been on YouTube? And my live broadcast, that was the most live. I said, I was so happy. It's the little things that make grandma happy. Don't take much. So we're going to put all this in this bag here. Put all the all the cans of cat food, the greeny snack. The cat was crying. She wants these. That's why I call them kitty crack. I don't know what they put in the Temptations cat treats. Or what they're putting. These are two cat. The reason why I got these is because they're less than two calories per treat. And it says nutritionally complete and balanced for adult cats. I say, well, that looks pretty good to me. But boy, oh boy, whenever I come in the kitchen, she thinks I'm going to give her some. I'm like, no, you're going to get off the kitty crack and you're going to eat your food. I didn't buy all this food for you just to leave it on the plate because you want some kitty crack. Yeah, I don't know what they put, especially in the the temptation treats. My cat would lose her mind. My other cat I used to have, she'd lose her mind. So we got this all in here. And let me look at the gas. But thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. When your car has 88,701 miles on it, and your car is nine years old, and you turn the key, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on now. I told you. I am not going to start doing by God's grace and God's grace alone. Did he give me another day to live? That's one. By his grace alone, incrementally, I'm paying things off little by little. I am not going to forget, God willing, when the car gets paid off and things are getting incrementally a little bit better, I cannot forget where that came from. I got to stop and take a pause. I got to stop and take a pause for the Lord Jesus Christ and be so grateful to Almighty God to, for what He has done and what He has allowed. Oh, trust, in the dead of winter, when it was zero, I turned the key and it was stuck. Thank you, Jesus. I, that may sound petty, crazy, nuts. You may think I'm crazy for saying that. Oh, you don't have to do all that. He under, no. Nope. nope. That's not the way mommy rocks. Oh no. In today's society where things are absolutely nuts and people are losing everything, 
because of this economy, I am so grateful. And if the Lord allows my son to get on a plane, I got to drive for 45 minutes to a, a, the airport. You allow my boy to come, come here. Lord, have mercy on my soul. I, I come full circle. I haven't seen my son in person. I believe we are in year six. I think year six. So no, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot take the gifts of the father, of the master for granted. We got to remember to be grateful. Now, you can do whatever you want. I'm sorry for the odd angle. You can do whatever you want. Pray wherever you want. But I'm just telling I'm telling you. I, I, I have learned. Lord, thank you. God, thank you. Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, yes, indeed. I'm so grateful. Yep, we're, we're we're it's not bright daylight, but this is the old woman. There is not a drop of makeup on this face. I told you, it's kind of weird looking. It's dark here. Dark here. Kind of light there and Mhm. Mm I don't know. Huh? Sometimes I put the all-over makeup on, sometimes I don't. We just put the lip gloss, the Burt's Bees tinted lip stuff. The Werther's Originals I got yesterday. Let's turn the lights on because it's, it's sprinkling. It's not out and out raining. And today what we did is we got rid of our bat wings. I had bat wings sticking out like that. We just cut them we just cut them down a little bit, not a lot. And then it may not look even, but we trim this a little bit. This was over here. That was I uh, no. Here in the state of Oregon, on the west coast of the United States of America, this is the town the I say town cuz it's small to me, but this is the small city of Hermiston, Oregon. I believe, forgive me, I believe we are in year living here for seven years now. And we are pulling out of the Walmart parking lot. And I'm, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, oh shoot. Bigger than me. No way I can get over here. Okay. Here. There's no way I can get over there. See that truck there? There's another one over there. Grandma, grandma can't get over. I'm going to have to go. I have to go straight. I ain't got no choice, so. Man, I messed up. I messed up because I'm running my mouth and I got a person on my behind. Some people. Okay, there he goes. Okay. Some people act like it's an exact emergency and they're on your bumper and we're on a we're on, we're in a very small city and you're acting like you're in New York City somewhere acting crazy. There are a lot of people that drive nuts around here. I'm gonna have to Alright, I gotta pull I gotta pull a slicky. I gotta pull a slick, but I gotta wait for two cars. I'm in the middle lane with the yellow lines on either side of me. Pray to God. Got to back up. Yeah, I got. I got. I had to pull a, a NASCAR move. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, indeed. Pardon me. I have a Werther's original. My throat is dry. But yeah. See what I mean? 395, junction 395, or highway, better yet, known as highway 395. 
This is the main vein off of where you have the Walmarts and all the things I just discussed. See, it says West 1st Street, but it is also Highway 395. Oh, no, no, Mr. School Bus, you are first. Oh, wait a minute, it's green. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. So I got to stay in this lane. There's your Pizza Hut. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh-oh. I got to be... Oh, wait a minute. The lane is going to close way up yonder. I see arrows pointing. And I think the middle lane is going... We're going to end up in the middle lane. They've been working on this for... They've been working on this for at least... I think we're in week number two. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I can't let you go. I got to what you gonna call it. Let me see here. That arrow, and we end up in the middle. I'm sorry, Boo Boo. Don't, don't, don't come. Look at me. Look at me. Don't hit me. Sorry. Telling you, it is not. It is no big deal, y'all. You need to take. I keep talking to people that can't hear me. It is not worth it, boo boo. It is not worth it. You need to calm down. Calm down. Nothing is worth. Nothing is worth worth trying to get to your destination five minutes sooner. Let them go. I'm like, look, and I'm like, he's coming this way. I'm like, please don't hit me. Don't hit me. They do that a lot because my car is so small. <laughs> I got that itty bitty car. I don't care. Yeah, I got to get moving. It's going to get dark pretty soon. Thank you uh, to those of you that have been here from the beginning. I appreciate it. I feel kind of guilty. I've been on, I, I'm on the air a lot lately. I starting just to feel better. I wake up, I feel a little bit challenged and depressed, you know. And it's like I have somebody to keep me company while I do ordinary things. Things that other people would find to be kind of boring. I feel like, ooh. Yeah, I got to show you that. Let's get the gas first. I'll show you that real quick. You know, we just may go in somewhere. <laughs> Lynn, it's too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's too much. This, for me, I don't know about anybody else. This, for me, is very therapeutic. About to pull into this. Ooh, Mr. Trucker, you gotta take a look at them brakes, bro. You hear that? Bro! You gotta take a look at them brakes, bro. That sounds kind of squeaky. I gotta pay inside. Um, pulling in the gas station. Gasco! Okay, no, no, yes. Pump number one. Child, I'm tired. I'm tired. Grandma is tired. I'm trying to grab my card. I'm sorry, I'm trying to grab my car right, right quick. Lord have mercy. Where are you? Reaching in the wrong place. Okay, we got the card. The key. 
when you get to the gas pump, lock your car. I don't care if it's a big or a small town. Lock your freaking car. Pump number one. Get my peace tea. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, Grandma's hanging in there, hon. Can I, um, I think we can switch. Uh, 15, 15 on one. Oh, I can do the tap thing, yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh. oh, right there, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm live and people are looking at my face and I'm thinking about them, I'm thinking about you and I'm thinking about that. Hallelujah. All right, we all set? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. This is on my face, I promise you. But looking at my wrinkly face. <laughs> okay. Uh, you you can't pump your gas here. <laughs> in, in Oregon, they gotta pump the gas. I don't know why. I have no idea. Yep. <laughs> kind of weird, but kind of weird but yep when I first moved here I thought that when I first moved here I thought that was the weirdest thing why can't I put my own gas like nope hello my friend who is that do Miller hello insurance related bill hey Bill Meyer welcome back or hello I don't know if you yeah I figure 15 ought to bring me almost full. Lord have mercy on me. I've taken some big steps today going in with the mask on my chin. I'll have you know. I've been I've been going full-fledged with the mask on the minute I get in the store. I've come a full way. That reminds me, I gotta take my I gotta take my V alcohol. I got <laughs> I gotta take my Vita Vita Vegemins when I get home. I won't say what they are, but you know what I do every day. Yes, I still do the alcohol. You touch the touchpad. He touched the touchpad. She touched the touch. <coughs> touched the touchpad. Then I touch the touchpad and go like this. And I know you think I'm cray cray, but I got to be careful. I'm 63. Yeah, I never, I think in New Jersey, possibly, when I came across the United States of America to move here, me and my son, me and my son drove 2,000 miles from Fayetteville, North Carolina to, oh, was it Fayetteville? Yeah, Fayetteville. Was it Carolina? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about Connecticut at the same time. To spray those for them, yeah. Thank you, Duan Miller. Duan Duana Miller. I'm probably butchering your name. Welcome. Bless you. Bless you, my friend. Been there all the time just listening to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I just sprayed the outside of the cans. You think I'm kidding? I just because everybody touches everything. I think if everybody followed some basic rules of washing their hands, not everybody washes their hands. Am I done? 
Hold on. We got 4.16 gallons of gas here. Hey, I'm right here. Might as well show it to you. You see I'm outside the car, sir. I'm not going to drive. I'm outside. People must just want to get home and have their pizza and wings. Child, when I get home, I am putting in some, uh, I am putting in those wings, those chicken wings in the oven when I get home. We are sitting almost full. I probably, I probably should have just put 20, but I was like, we're just about full. We're good. Okay. All right, y'all. Can we try to go home now? Can we try? Okay. Shimon. Shimon. Oh, my gosh. It's free. My goodness. Yes. That's a miracle. That's a miracle. Okay. We are on the highway. See this part? Is South Highway 3, 395. When you get near Walmart, it's north, north or south 1st Street. It switches up at a certain point, even though it's all the same road. It, it has a different name when you reach just before Walmart. So I'm going to take a turn by the school this way. I will go this way. My friends, thank you so very much. I said to myself, I know I'm gonna go shopping. Blah, blah, blah. I just want to get a few itty bitty little, a little, a little things. I said, you know what? I have not taken my audience to the little park. They just been seeing me at home. You know, I need to take my friends outside to see something a little bit different. You know, instead of just seeing me sit there with my cat, I don't think there's anything embarrassing or wrong about me cooking a cheap meal and being on with my cat. But uh, every once in a while, if you can switch it up and do something a little bit different, you do it. This Domino's Pizza is on your right-hand side. I have not ordered from Domino's Pizza in years. See, there you have the blinky blinky. I'm going to turn it back toward me because it's just too many people. And then we will end up by the school. So you have Domino's Pizza. Then over here on the right, all on the right, you have the school. I got you go, then you go. I'm at the stop sign. It's it's this person's turn, and they're, they're, it's your turn. It's your turn. Come on, boo boo. Come on. Okay. There's your school. That's the high school. That's the high school on the right hand side. Hermiston. High school. Let's see if I can get you the sign. Let's see, I want to make sure there's nobody. Hold on. Yeah, Hermiston High School. There it is. Gotta be careful. When you come through here, all these cars on both sides, they're there even though it's past the time. Up to 5.30 p.m. 20, 20, I'm biting my own lip, 20 miles per hour for obvious reasons. And you got to be very careful. Sometimes these kids, they'll run from between cars. Like, ah! Like right now. Like right now. Somebody's crossing the street. I didn't see him till he actually put his foot on the pavement. I didn't even see him. Because there's a truck and stuff. You got to be very careful. And every once in a while, a police officer... There's a line, I can show this. There's a line right here, you see that? Every once in a while, in here, or over there, the popo just parks in an unmarked truck. How do I know that? I seen him pull out after somebody one day. Oh man, I don't wanna smile at the thought of the guy getting charged so much money 
but you speed in a school zone, that's a problem. That cha-ching! Oh, they're getting their money right there. Second stop sign. Oh, they're getting their money, boo-boo. And yes, Granny does a complete stop, much to the annoyance of some people behind me. I'm like, if you would like to get a ticket for not fully stopping, if Mr. Popo just happens to be sitting there in an unmarked sports car, the unmarked SUV, yep, I know them all, <laughs> the unmarked truck, if you would like to get a $100 speeding ticket, you're more than welcome to do it, but I, I can't afford that. Maybe you can. And I'm sorry to sound corny and cornball, but I don't want to give air money to the, to the city of Hermiston my beloveds and what I love seeing you'll see a lot here you'll see older couples walking their dogs at about this time it's so cool a lot of old people like me Thank you, Father. Oh, yes, indeed. Mm. Oh, my mercy. You like my dirty ceiling? <laughs> okay. I got to put this up like this for a moment. Okay. Give me a second. The neighbor that I told you about, I didn't get rid of them. I wanted to leave them out there so you could see them. Remember I had to put that table up there to stop her from coming on my porch and bing 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 on the table. I gotta throw them out. <laughs> Don't know if they're still there. You gotta be cray cray. See, you are a hard ass. You are a hard ass that does not understand boundaries. I believe it was Queen Bee that might have said that woman needs to understand the word boundary. No, I am not. I, I am not a child. I am not a child. And you are not going to direct me. You're not going to control me. And you're not going to force me to do anything. God can do that. God can do that. But not you. And I suppose... That's why you're in there by yourself because I don't think I'm the only per I'm sorry. I don't think I'm the only person that she has done this to. You, 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 can, you run through all the neighbors acting like that. If you run if you if you run through all the neighbors acting like that, that's a problem. You're not gonna you, it's kinda like crying wolf. Oh, don't be mean, Lynn. No. It's kinda like crying wolf. You go to one neighbor, you get pushy, you kind of force your way into their house, you want to be their friend, you want to be nosy and be all up, all up in their grill. Try to force yourself on a person. Then that person gets pissed off. Then you go to the next neighbor and the next neighbor and the next neighbor and pretty soon nobody wants to talk to you because you're being overbearing. We love you. We care about your health. We want you happy, but you cannot just say, let me in and force your way into another human being's house. You can't do that. If somebody did not discipline you properly or, or something, or there's a little something going on up here that, 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 that stopped and broke as far as the word boundary is concerned, you, will, you are not coming in my house. You're being mean. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 
because if you visit, if you if you are telling me something about Susie, then you're telling me something about Charlie. What you're going to do is you're going to come in my house, maybe get a little bit of my business, then you're going to go over to Susie and Charlie, and for the sake of sounding like you're in the know, like that's something cool to be, you know everybody's business, whatever I tell you, you will tell Charlie. Whatever Char whatever you t whatever Charlie tells you, you'll tell me about him like that, and that is asinine. That is immature, and that's nuts. You gotta learn. Leave people alone. Don't push yourself. This is why a lot of people cannot stand people. They don't want to be around anybody nowadays because people are crazy. People are cray cray. Like, you will be my friend. No, I won't. Stop. Stop it. I'll show you. She left, left that thing over there. Because she cannot take the word no. She can't take the word no. I'm sorry to be... I apologize. I know some of you are sick of hearing me talk about this. I did not think about her or nothing till I, I, I when I came when I came out here to warm up my car, I saw this on the table, which means she grabbed her cane and waddled her way over to put that on my on my table. And quite frankly, it pissed me off. It pissed me off because it's like you you think it's funny and amusing now. See, in the old days you would have draw back a nub. Maybe one of you knows what draw back a nub means. Forgive me, but you would have drawn back a nub, little girl. And please do not play around. I have been, I, I'm 63 years old. I've seen just about it all. I've seen people be mean and nasty. And then when, <coughs> excuse me, and then when you confront them, they play the victim and cry. And this is the other thing. She's about four feet, eight inches tall. She's really little. So she goes, oh, 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 she's yelling at me like that. <coughs> and I'm tired of it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to front. And I'm not going to lie to any of you. But I am sick and tired of this. You've been here for two months and it's already, already not a year, not three years or five, only about what, eight weeks? And she is a pain in the ass. That woman is a pain in the ass. I'm sorry, but she's got to stop. You see my eyes getting all big? I'm mad. Because you don't, you, 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 you don't, you are not showing me any respect. You're disrespecting me. You're disrespecting me. I ain't done nothing to that woman. It's kind of like a little game now because we don't have a life. We don't have a life. So let's screw around and mess with this. Old, let's mess with her to see if we can get a rise out of her. Because I, I am just desperate for whatever this is I'm desperate for. I'm nuts and I don't even know what I want. But all I know is I... I want to screw with you because I got nothing to do. People are like this. I know you think I'm nuts. People are like that. I'm going to mess with you. I'm going to screw with you because I got nothing going on. I got nobody coming over to visit. What can I do here to get some excitement? Go to church. Call your daughter. Go to dinner. Stop screwing with the old woman. Uh, you know, you ain't going to, you ain't going to break my relationship, devil, devil. You're not going to break my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. But let me tell you, even Jesus turned over the money table. Uh, even Jesus Christ uh, turned over the money tables. Here's the table that I put. See the table that I put? Do you see what you put there? Do you see them two apples right there? She put them there. Do you see that? That's her porch right there. That's my porch right here. See? Do you see that? Do you see the do you see the craziness I gotta do? I gotta cover my my my, my bell to stop this crazy ass from bothering me. She met some with the wrong, she met the wrong one. She met the wrong one. She you back up, little lady. But just because you're old.
70 freaking years old if God grants it to me. I'm an old woman too, but you don't see me acting crazy like that. I act goofy with my son and crazy on camera sometimes, but I don't bother nobody. Understand me? I sit here boring and quiet and to myself. Crazy ass want to come here and mess and I was talking to my son about it last night. I was talking to my boy about it last night. I said, son, you need to come get this woman. Come get her. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for her daughter. When her daughter comes over, I got something to say. The doggone tootin'. I can't wait for her daughter to come over. I don't care. She can go ahead and cry in front of her daughter, but I'm going to tell her daughter. I'm going to tell her daughter what she's doing. It makes me wonder, you moved across the street. I wonder why. I wonder why you moved across the street. Maybe the lady across the street had enough of you. I don't know. But you're gonna stop this crap. You're gonna leave, you're gonna leave my ass alone. Because I, I, I'll yell out loud in the street and let everybody know what you're doing. I sure will, because I'm getting you up off me. You feeling me? It's an old saying back in the hood. Get I need to get this person up off me. Y'all feeling me? Oh, yes, indeed. I'll get you off me. I will get your ass off me. Pardon me, it's dark. I will get you off me. I will get... Put these, I got to put these clothes in the bathroom. Because I got to take the... Uh, I got to take the tags off the clothes. Yeah, I'll get your ass off me. I'll get you off me. I'll get you off me and everybody will know what you're doing. I will get you off my ass. Hey, boo-boo. I got a treat for you. Hold on. I got to put these clothes down. You wait. No, you can't come in the bathroom right now, okay? Not now. Not now, boo-boo. See, I t remember I told you, I don't know if Lady Dark Sky is still here. I told her that I literally have her box in the bathroom. I was putting stuff. So I'm going to put these clothes, I'm going to put the clothes on the counter. So we got the clothes. We got the clothes on the counter. You see the tags. So what we're going to do, uh, Lady Dark Sky, is we're going to use... I know you can wash... You can wash them again. But we're going to use the all free and clear, okay? We'll use this. And we'll put that on. I got to cut all the tags off. And we're going to put it on a gentle... Matter of fact, you know what? We're going to do it right now. I'll do it right now. Let me put this bag down. Let me wash my Hans. Yeah, that crazy woman's got to stop. You're nuts. See, now you're showing... See, this is what happens with me. You know, you know Maya Angelou, when they show you who they are, believe them, right? You've heard Maya Angelou. When people show you who they are, believe them. I believe you. See, and uh, Maya Angelou says... Uh, I got soap in my hand, too. Uh, Maya, Angel Maya Angelou says, when people show you who they when people show you who they are, believe them, right? Do you know what I say, which is very unclassy? What I say, when somebody show, if you show me your ass, I'm going to get a good look at it. And I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember. In other words, you're showing me who you really are. You're not showing me your butt. You get me? You get me? Yeah, don't mess with me. Uh-uh. See, you're not going to get by with me saying that you're old. I'm old and I didn't know what I was doing. You know exactly what you were doing. Stop trying to play me. You can't play me like that. I cannot stand when people try that. Oh, I'm old. I'm feeble. I didn't know what I was doing. The only difference between somebody that's 20 and being a pain in the ass and someone that's 67 years old and being a pain in the ass is 40 years. That's the only difference. Don't let a wrinkled neck and a wrinkled face like mine fool you. They're still the same person. They're just old. So if somebody is a, uh, so I don't want to say that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm letting hot water on my hands. Because I've been through in so many stores. Okay. All right, let me see. I got to, let me see what I got in here. Yeah, I'm going to take these clothes. I have clothes in here. I don't want any clothes but these clothes. So I only have a little bit down here in my washer. Okay. So 
what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not letting that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty much done. So this is for Lady Dark Sky. We went over to the uh, we went over to the Goodwill. And this is for Lady Dark Sky. We're going to be mailing this to her. But I want to wash it. I want to at least wash it once. And then, of course, she can wash it again when she gets it home. Or when, when it gets to her house. But we paid a whopping $4.99. It's, like it's like a robe. It's beautiful. This robe is beautiful. So I want to make sure that I get the tag off here. I don't want her having the tag. Yeah, that crazy woman's got to stop. The, the last the last move I'm going to make is is I'm going to go to the management of the apartments. If you come on my porch, you could you, you got you got two or three more times with me. You keep coming on my porch and, and screwing with me. You you got you're going to be looking for another place to live. But anyways, yeah, this is for Lady Dark Sky. Lady Dark Sky, isn't this beautiful? Look at this Lady Dark Sky. Isn't this, I don't know if she's still here. This is gorgeous. Look at the sleeves. Look at the sleeves. This is beautiful, Lady Dark Sky. So we're going to put this in the washer, okay? Oh, wait a minute. There's a sock in there. I just want you to see. There's nothing in the washer. I don't think there's any. There's nothing in there, okay? So we're going to put this in here. We're going to put it on the gentle cycle. And then we're going to put the other things we got. I bought this. I love the sleeves. We love the lace. We got this, which I'll probably wear a pair of uh, another skirt, a pencil skirt under it, or I'll probably wear a pair of uh, stretchy pants. So we got to take the price tag off here. I'll take the price tag, which was $4.99. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. We only got four items. And then we got this, and it was yellow tag day. Yellow tag, the yellow tag color is 50% off. So we got, we did good with this. We paid $2.50 for this long sleeve, soft, uh, soft, very, a casual dress, or you can wear it as a ginormous shirt with jeans. And, and again, a skirt down to your ankles if you choose. So this is just like a casual dress. It actually goes past my knees. Very soft material. $2.50 and I love it. See, nice and wide. So we're going to put that in the washer. Yeah, I don't play around Lady Dark Sky. When I say I'm going to do something, Lady Dark Sky, you know it and I know it. Well, you're the same way. Lady Dark Sky is the same way. We paid $4.00. And 99 cents for this. And this is simply a vest. It is the vest. You've seen me uh, uh, haul these before. LuLaRoe. And this this is what I call the snack cover. <laughs> this, covers, this covers everything that happens when you eat too many snacks. <laughs> so it's a vest. Wear it over jeans. Wear it over a shirt. It'll, it'll kind of cover what you need to cover. And this was again four dollars and ninety uh, four dollars and ninety nine cents. So we got to cut the tag off there, cut the tag off, and then we go inside and take the other part of the tag off there. You see? So those are the those are the four clothing items that we bought. Oh, and we bought the shoes too. I'll show you those in a minute. So we spent, um, this is what we spent at the uh, the Goodwill. Not a lot. We were a good girl. Not a lot. And then the shoes, I think, were the same price. So let me throw all these little tags in the trash. I got my little little bucket with a, with a Walmart bag. And then Lady Dark Sky, like I said, this is the free and clear stain lifters. With fabric smooth. Number one, it says brand number one recommended by dermatologists. So I'll I'll use this. We'll put some in here, okay? Down to the bottom of it, but we got enough. There's only four items. So put that in there. 
Okay. Give me a little water in the cup. A little water in the cup. And then I want to um put a little bit of water behind. I put a little bit of water behind the cup so it drains all the way down and it doesn't get stuck in there. So I got this little. That's why if you ever see this in the bathroom, that's what this is for. I just pour this down there behind the detergent to keep my little cup clean. Not gonna hurt nothing, it's just warm water. It's just warm water, okay? And then since it's such a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of stuff. So we're gonna go medium, medium, warm, and then we're gonna go over to delicates, okay? And go over to delicates, medium, and warm, okay? And there we go, and she's off! <laughs> All right. Oh, wait a minute, the other light. Oh, uh, my car flap is still open. I gotta go out and get that, uh, I gotta go out and get the, uh, the dirt. Oh, put the dirt outside. I'll get back, boo-boo, no, boo-boo, no, boo-boo, no, boo-boo, no, 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 no. I love you, but no. All right. I'm sorry that I was ranting. I apologize. And then I got my toilet paper down here. Hold on. Move the toilet. Oh, this is what we got. Size 11. There's the price. We got these nice suede looking flats. We got these. We got these. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna straight. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh yeah. You can't. You can only play with me so long. I'll tolerate your your junk for so long. But you ain't innocent. No, you're not. You're doing that. You're doing these little goofy things on purpose. That's not a friendly offer. That's a I'm taking control offer. Keep your keep your freaking apples, you crazy woman. Keep your apples. Stop acting nuts. Esa mujer es loca con la cabeza. I don't know if I can them both. I'm going to try. Let me see. I don't know if I can do that. I got to be careful. I ain't trying to hurt myself. Okay. Hold on. Oh, this thing is heavy as... I'll get out. Ooh. I gotta put this if I can do it. Hmm. What am I doing? This planter box. Woo! We got it home, y'all. Got that, and I gotta close. I gotta close my uh, close my hatch batch. Hatch, yeah, hatch batch. <laughs> hatch back. Oh, I like the car. There we go. Well, you're taking your full throttle from store to from the post office to the park to uh What's the name of that store? I always forget these names. These names are weird to me, but I took it to Bymart. And then we left Bymart where we got our dirt, our soil. Ooh, mama's tired. So we went post office, park, Bymart. Then we went to, um, then we went, where did we go after that? Bymart. Was it Walmart? This. Let, let me put the toilet paper away first. Let me put the TP away. We got our TP too. We got Miss. We got our sister a little gift. Wish I had. Could do more, but we got our Lady Dark Sky gift. You know what I'm thinking, Lady Dark Sky? I'm thinking I'm gonna switch the water. Get back right now! Not now, boo boo. Not look at my face. Look at my face. Not now. Sit down. Sorry, y'all. 
the uh, I think I'm gonna switch the water now. I think I'm gonna switch that water to cold. It's full. I'm gonna switch it to cold. I but what happens? It takes a while for my hot or warm water to be warm. I'm a little nervous. I know that item is not brand new. I'm gonna switch over to cold water now for the rinse. But I don't think that water is what you call it. I don't think that water is um hot hot it's supposed to be when it's warm it's a little bit cold I'm just trying to be careful i don't want your thing to shrink okay okay that's where it is i'm sorry i'm i'm trying to get to the place i want to get my cat her snack i'm more excited about the snack than she will be you want a snacky want a snacky hmm you know what that means when mommy says snacky right when I stay snacky, then you get a snacky. I know you don't see it. You see my purse in this goofy bag. Okay, hold on. Come here, come here, boo-boo. She busy sniffing that box. <laughs> Remember our bag? <laughs> yeah, we went to Walmart too. And hallelujah, we got the peace tea. That's, I'm only doing that because that's what it's doing on the thing. We got that when we, and oh yeah, then we went to the gas station. I took you all around town today. But I want to give my baby a uh, retreat. Let's see if we get her, see so we get any, she's busy sniffing. So I don't know why she's sniffing this box so hard. She just a sniffing that box. Watch. Let, let's see if we get a reaction. Yep. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm not going to let you suffer. I'm not going to make you suffer. I'm going to open it right now. I'm not... Guys, a grandma apparently ran out of power. I would like to thank each and every one of you for tuning into my broadcast. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming around town with me. Sorry I got a little upset about, but we're going to take that over to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and ask the Heavenly Father not only to, to bless and to protect me and my kitty cat, but to bless and protect the environment of my home with peace and to touch my heart, my mind, my soul, and my spirit with peace, Heavenly Father. And I pray that you bless every single person that's in this chat. Anybody that came in and said hello to me in the chat, visiting with me, or is looking at this as a live broadcast, thank you so very much for the things that you have done for me, Heavenly Father, which allowed me to be able to go out today to do the things that I did, to make the purchases that I did, Heavenly Father. It's only because of you. It's only because of you. It's got absolutely nothing to do with me. And I, I need to be calm. I need to be collected. I need to be calm and collected and understand how Satan works. Uh, I should know better. But it's... I just need your super natural Holy Ghost still peace, Father. I think we all do. I thank you so much for listening, Father. I'm sorry if I got upset and yelled or got upset in any kind of a way, which I did. I did. We pray this prayer. I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, most high God. Amen. Amen. All labeled up. You... You're quick. You're quick like my son. My goodness, Lady Dark Sky. Thank you, Lady Dark Sky. Thank you, KE Vlog. Uh, thank you so very much. I don't know where I put my glasses. I got another pair of glasses, but those are sunglasses. Give me just a moment, please. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Help me to be strong, Lord, in this last hour. 
because I'm really, Lord, I'm tired. I'm not talking about physically being tired, Heavenly Father. I'm talking about I'm mentally tired. I'm mentally tired. I'm just trying to live in a peaceful situation. I'm just trying to live in a peaceful, peaceful situation, Lord, and I need some extra help with that. And boo-boo, you need to chill. And you need to be cool, okay? All right? I had a lot of fun with you today. You've been such a... I'm sorry for the weird angles and everything. I'm just putting everything on one arm. I'm bringing it to the bedroom. I just turned the, just turned the oven on. Just a moment. And then what I need to do is put these in my small fridge. Uh, thank you, Father. Help me to be calm and collected. I'm not saying that the devil is in everything. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not nutty like that. I'm not that crazy. I'm a little cray cray, but I ain't that crazy. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm just making some adjustments here, trying to see what I can do. I need to take this out, take that ginormous thing out, and then I can put my put my peace tea in this refrigerator. And then I've got a large bottle sitting here. I gotta take that and put that in the other refrigerator. And um, I need to put this down somehow. Okay. You know what I need to do? Unplug that wire and then pull that. And then put my purse and bag over here. And then go put the whatchamacallit. Yeah, that's that, that woman is disturbing my peace. I need to I need to do something about this. Because I have too many people. I have too many people to pray for and to intercede for to have one human being get in the way of that. Yeah, we gotta we I gotta do something about that. I really have to do something about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm just looking for my glasses, y'all. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do something. Something has to be done. And I am not dealing with somebody that's I can't. Okay, I just want to make sure that I took the nail polishes out. And I had my gray glasses over here and I don't see them. No glasses. I can't see I can't see the chat without my glasses. So that's why I'm delayed a little bit here. I'm trying to find another pair of glasses. Sorry, y'all. Uh... Oh, help us, Will. Mm -hmm. Help me, Father. Mm. Is that them? I got these broken ones. I got these broken ones. Mm. Oh, there we go. I can see, but it's broken. You can come help me. I can't do my sidewalks. I can't do my sidewalks on my deck. Oh, I understand. I understand. Trust the old woman you're looking at. I understand. Lord. Boo-boo. I love you. I love you. But you can't come in the room because you just can't, baby. I'm sorry. I have to have some limitations. Oh, this is driving me nuts. Hold on. There it is. Okay, let me grab this. If you can't stay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No one's obligated to live in my live on my live feed. It's okay. I was feeling a certain set way. Goodness gracious, I hate that. Okay, there's my card. There's that. And then the only other place that could be is in this bag here. Okay. Okay. I have to accept the fact I don't know where the glasses are. <laughs> accept it and move on. I need to sit down is what I need to do. Before I do that, I gotta put the 
I started the oven and I want some chicken wings. So we want chick we want chicken wings. So let me just plug this in. And I don't want a repeat of losing power and then coming back to power. So it is 7.05 p.m. my time. I have not eaten today yet. So, and, yeah. So, we have our chicken wings. And uh, 20 to 21 minutes. Let's stand to, oh, preheat oven to 350 degrees. Okay, we've, I've got it preheating. I've got it preheating. I got my old pizza pan and we'll put some on here. Sorry you're at a non-angle. Granny's kind of tired. Boy, Satan certainly doesn't like the devil. Stop, boo-boo, stop. Satan doesn't certainly does not like for a person to start to feel better and to start doing better. Have you noticed? The enemy is quite busy, my friends. Not that the devil is behind every corner. Not that the devil is behind every corner and in every situation. But I noticed that. So we have our great value. Buffalo style, boneless wings, excuse me, and it says to bake them on preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I think these are pretty much like chicken McNuggets, maybe. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever had these, but we're going to go ahead and throw a bunch of them on here. Maybe we'll slice up a tomato or something on the side. I'm not quite sure. But I digress. I opened them the wrong way, but I don't care. <laughs> Very much just tight. I should have probably, I should have probably brought, I should have probably uh, bought some, um, bought some French fries or something to go with them. But I just got this, so I'm gonna put them bad boys in the oven. It's kind of like you, you, you feel like you're gaining victory and uh, you're gaining victory. It's kind of interesting because you can kind of see where Satan is like. Like when things are getting better and something odd happens or something uncomfortable happens from a person or an area that you did not expect it to happen from. And basically, you make the devil uncomfortable, whatever that is. In other words, you're starting to do better, and the enemy likes you to be in misery. He likes you to be depressed. He likes you to be up at arms and all just like upset. Because while you're up, up at arms and you're depressed and all that, you're not saying, thank you, Jesus. You're not reading your Bible. You're not praising God, and you're not praying. I think that that's what that is. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I find it kind of interesting that things are incrementally, you know, a little tiny bit at a time. Think a little a little tiny bit at a time. Things are getting a little bit better for me. A little bit at a time. You know, little victories, little tiny victories. Things that people would think that are un inconsequential. They would say, well, that's nothing. Most people would look at what I'm saying or the little, little accomplishments that I make here and there and say, that's nothing. That's nothing. But this, for, some, for some of us, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for some of us as we incremental, incrementally climb out of difficult circumstances. You, see, you look and you kind of see a pinhole's worth of light. As you're going toward a little toward another mini victory, you know, you see just another pinhole's worth of light. You know, you you can start smiling a little bit. You, you know what I mean? 
So the devil is busy. And if he can mess with you incrementally in a tiny ways, he's hoping that that will lead to something in a huge way. I'm just rinsing a plate washing and rinsing a plate because I don't want to go into my cupboard and get another plate. I'd rather clean the one that's in the sink. So that's one less one I have to, you know. I already have a mess over here. I'll look at the chat in just a moment. I need to wipe my counter just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's all that is. The devil is busy. Now, sometimes he does not need full strength. Uh, to mess with a person, he'll send a minor, a minor, you know, you have your, you have your generals, you have your generals, you have your lieutenants, well, maybe he'll just send a little imp, a little imp to throw, toss two apples on your table. Thank you for your patience with me. I do appreciate it. Like I said, no one is obligated to stay in my live if they can't. Boo-boo, no. No. You're not obligated to stay. Okay? Grandma's just on the air. I'm just on the air. Sorry, I got my half glasses. My other glasses are probably in the car. They're probably in the car. I don't feel like going back out to the car right now. <laughs> I saw my silver glasses. I just don't remember where I saw them at. And I am very, very hungry. I have not eaten all day. I just put the fancy, the El Chipo wings. Basically, to me, those are chicken McNuggets. They look like spicy chicken McNuggets. That's what's in the oven right now. And it said 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So I think it's wisdom. I think it's wisdom if I set my microwave timer. I'll set the microwave timer for 12 minutes and then we'll look at them because my oven tends to run on the hot side. Stop. Let's see. We need kitchen timer. We need about 13 minutes. We'll do 13 minutes. Yeah. It's 15 to 20 minutes. I set it for 13 minutes, then we'll have a looky-loo and see how it's doing. So, yeah, maybe do some kind of a, some kind of dressing to dip them in and eat while I yip yap. Well, thank you for being here with me. I do appreciate it. I'm going to do something oddball. I'm hungry. I'm going to have a bagel with cream cheese. Oops! Yep. I know I can't be the only human being on earth that eats like this every once in a while. <laughs> I want something quick. I just want food. I just want food. Nothing fancy today. My son made a homemade, uh, I forget if they were fajitas or what he made. He sent me the picture of them in the oven. And then he sent me the picture with them, uh, with them out of the oven. And he made homemade guacamole. Homemade guacamole. And I said, give me the ingredients. So I was, I, I'm got to do that another day, three or four days from now or something. But anyways, he showed me the picture of, you know, holding his homemade guacamole. Honey, that looks so good. I said, son, I've never made guacamole my whole life. I go, what's your, what's, what's your re recipe? This is the Thomas's Everything Bagel. If you were my neighbor, K.E., I would have said, if you get the shed door clear, we can get out the snowblower. Amen. Thank you, Sister Carla, for visiting. Thank you so very much. I'm sorry, K.E. Rose. K.E. Rose, if you are having difficulty, I'm so very sorry. I'm so very sorry, honey. The everything bagel I'm going to put in, I've got my fake chicken wings or the uh, the uh, whatever you want to call those. The they, It's spelled Y wings why w-y-n-g-s basically to me they look like a chicken mcnugget it looks like a chicken mcnugget and on the outside coated with a coating that has buffalo wing sauce and those are in the oven they take 15 to 20 minutes i because i was yip yapping i set the kitchen timer for 13 minutes i put them on a little pizza pa pizza pan they're in the oven I got a bagel in and some cream cheese. 
Why am I still on the air? Because I feel like it. <laughs> and then I want to show you, I want to unbox this uh, Elite Gourmet Electric Burner. If you're wondering why I purchased a single, I should have got the double one, but I can't do that right now. A single electric burner cooktop, the itty bitty little ones. I think that was what, $19.95? Y'all saw the price, I can't remember it. What that is, the reason for that is because I can take that small single serve burner. If I am doing a, what I would call a one pan dish, if I'm frying up some eggs and some turkey bacon, right, in that one pan, some scrambled eggs and stuff, I can put that on the table right here and I can sit with you and have the camera close and you can watch what's ever in the in the small pan cook you see that's the thought to make it a little more portable I will be purchasing boo boo stop boo boo stop now I will be purchasing another one I want to get a double burner that is for YouTube that's basically for YouTube why are you doing that just some basic things that I feel that I need I basically cook on top of my stove I want you to have a better view and the burner can always be used for something else. I'm just making some investment, a little bit of an investment in my YouTube channel. Oh, yes, indeed. I'm just waiting for my, I'm waiting for my, I'm waiting for Mr. Bagel. And I got the, the uh, Walmart cream cheese. Yeah, when we were in... By Mart, I took you all over a little bit into this into my city today. We purchased this thing. I'm going to tell you why. If you cook, or you go on live, you go on live and you cook. This is a this is a good idea. You got to be very careful. You don't want this around children. You don't want to leave it plugged in on the table. That you you want to put it away, cool down, cleaned off, and put it away. You don't want little children thinking they can play with this thing. I don't know why I'm saying it, but I guess I better be cautious. Be careful. Basically, you can take your cooking from being stuck at your stove. If you're just making a one pan meal, you're making some pancakes, you're scrambling some eggs and some bacon, then you're taking that out and you're having some toast and you want to talk to your audience. You can take that over to a smaller table. Be careful the, of the material of the table. We're all grown-ups and we know what to do and how to handle that. But basically, that brings your cell phone on the stand and your camera close. If you don't have the setup where you can cook, uh, have the camera aimed down at your stove, that's an inexpensive way to bring the food, bring the cooking process closer to the camera for your audience to look at it as you're adding your ingredients to your sauce, your chili, whatever you're doing. That's a great that's a great way to do it. I've seen it over many, many years. Many, many YouTubers do that. They have a double burner. I'm gonna get a hold of one of those, but not now. You know how we do once a month we go out and we take care of business. But since I cook the most simplest, since I cook the most simplest things, usually one or two pans, I thought that maybe I could bring the pan, the cooking process to the table, bring you closer to, to see what I'm doing. I, I, you know, some people do it, some people do not. There's nothing wrong with cooking from the stove. Your audience is happy with that. That's fantastic. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. So I'm just putting the cream cheese on my bagel. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father. I bless the food that you've given me, Father. I pray that you, I thank you so very much for it. I ask you to bless it, please, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, yeah. It doesn't cost that much to do a tiny bit of investing into your channel if that's what you want to do. I don't need my channel to explode. 
I just need my channel to stay level at the level that it is right now. It's on. Okay, that says we have five minutes. Let me see, where is that thing? And I'm going to go in and um, grab this tray of McNuggets, if you will. I'm going to grab it and kind of move them around a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of little things that people can do. A lot of little things that people can do on their channel if they're cooking. Some people have the camera too far away when they're cooking, and the people cannot see what you're doing. The people can't see what you're doing when you're cooking. And that's the same for me. Some people want to see. Like, you'll be putting all the spices and stuff in, and the camera will be way over here. And you're cooking and you're talking, but they can't see what you're doing. So I'm trying in, a, in my own little way to improve upon that. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm just turning these little McNugget things over to the other side. I'm going to put them back in for about 10 minutes. Yeah, there's this one lady that can cook her socks off. She's been on here. Yeah, I ain't going to say who she is. <coughs> she can cook her socks off. Okay, I need to reset this because they need not three minutes. They need ten they need ten minutes, in my opinion. So I'm gonna stop. I'm going to hit the kitchen timer. I'm gonna hit no, I'm gonna hit nine minutes. Zero nine zero zero. I'm gonna hit the start button. Nine minutes. We'll give her nine because they feel they need they need some time. And then I gotta be careful with this plug. I got you plugged in. I actually went off the air accidentally again because I was yip yapping. I was running my mouth as usual. <coughs> I was running my mouth as usual. And I let my battery wear out. So I've got you plugged in. And now what I'm looking for, I don't want that. Goodness golly Jesus. I apologize. You all right? Boo Boo, I love you. Mommy loves you, Boo. Mommy loves you very much. Did you know that? Mommy loves you very much, boo-boo. I sure do. I apologize for being gone so much today, but Mommy has some stuff to do, okay? So please don't be mad at me. Don't, don't be mad at me. I don't like leaving you for long periods of time like that. But hey, I had to go out and do what I gotta do. I'm just rinsing it. I'm rinsing a cup and... Oh, Jesus, help me, Lord. I said to rinse my cup and... A little bit he left there and throw some ice in here. Oh Lord Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Well yeah, let me show you this thing. We're gonna open it up. We'll open it up. We've got time. I don't have to make five hundred videos. I can show you right now. According to the clock, we have six minutes and 47 seconds for the McNuggets, if you will, to get done. Okay, I'm sorry, I got my broken glasses, but my other glasses are in the whatchamacallit. Can I take a bite, please? Thank you. This will sound kind of odd. I'm talking about YouTube and earning money on YouTube. I like to keep my earnings very, very low, right where they need to be. <laughs> I'm at a certain income bracket. I'm at a low 
income bracket. Excuse me. Excuse me. And that's exactly where I want to stay. I'm going to stay right there. I know that sounds kind of insane, but I know what I'm doing. You don't want you. <laughs> I'm going to stay right where I am. I'm good. I'm good by the grace of Almighty God. I've crossed my T's and I dot my I's and I put my commas where they need to be. I look up my information and I'm very careful. For me in my life, I live very simply. I don't require a lot. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. You like the everything bagels? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Marquise. Yes, I'm still yip yapping. I've got my fake my fake chicken nuggets, or as Walmart calls them, wings. W y n g s. Why don't you just call them what they are, Walmart? They are McNuggets for me. They're like little chicken nuggets that are extra, a little spicy. I've got four minutes. I think I should take a look at them and make sure because I don't want them to burn. And I've got my, if you hear a noise in the background, today I went over to Goodwill. See what I mean? They're like, get down, get down. They're like chicken McNuggets. They call, trying to call them wings. They need to stop. Stop, boo. Stop. Stop it now. But I digress. Let me cut one. Let me cut one and see if it's done. It might be done. Let's see. Basically, that's a McNugget. That's not a wing. I mean, it's not. Oh, I dropped it. It's not. Let me get the other one. That's like a chicken McNugget to me. You see? That's probably press together chicken and then they put some hot sauce or something on the coating that's why they're calling it buffalo stop buffalo styled that's the buffalo hot sauce you see so hold on i thank you heavenly father for the food you've given me i ask you to please bless it in the name of jesus christ amen okay let's see i ain't never had these i, I assume i Pretty much have had all kinds of McNuggets. That's done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, that's hot. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's hot and spicy. Oh, they ain't kidding. Ooh. Sha, I need water. Wow. Let me tell you something. If you like hot, hot, spicy, you're going to like that. <laughs> Let me show you the bag. Hold on. Child, that thing is hot. Let me show you the bag. A lot of people can't handle that. I mean, I, I like hot sauce. But they bag. Two and a half pounds. I forget they were eight bucks or something. Sorry, the bag looks kind of messy, but that is from, uh, that is the Great Value brand, Buffalo Style Boneless Wings. It's spelled W-Y-N-G-S because it's really not a chicken wing. It's probably chicken that's chopped up and pressed together. It's probably chopped up chicken with a bunch of stuff mixed with it and pressed together so they could put a coating on it. 
but that's how it's spelled so you can see it honey those are hot it's still hot in my throat hot so if you like spicy if you like hot and spicy you're gonna like that now your children if you got kids that are five or six years old they may not be able to handle that it's hot ha 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 I'm telling you right here. I'm trying to see. Do I have anything to cool? Mm. I don't know. Wait a minute. Is there anything left here? I'm checking my checking my Chick-fil-A. I think we have a little Chick-fil-A. I don't know. Ooh, that's hot. Man, that's hot. I'll give you a nice close-up so you can see, because that those. Those things aren't planned. Those are hot. Ooh, they're hot. Oh, I got to show you something real quick. You're going to think this is crazy. So you've seen, you've seen the toys that I buy for my cat. You've seen, the, and, and, and those cat owners understand. Even logs, when Mr. Tim was having trees cut down, all the stuff over there, right? So there's all those toys. So now when I go into the bathroom, I'll let the cat come in. I'll let her come in and run around a little bit. She's having more fun with this. A toilet paper roll with a piece of string. I tied onto the chair. She's playing more with that than those other toys, if you can freaking believe it. A roll of to old toilet paper roll, an empty toilet paper roll, and an old string. That's a string from one of my skirts. And this little thing is having the time of her life. Aren't you, baby? Aren't you, good girl? Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll be buying them all kinds, the balls and the fake mice and the electric toys. I just put that together. She's been, she's been playing around and batting that thing around for a while. Come here, boo-boo. I need to sit down. I didn't, stay, I didn't come on now. I gotta put you down. Stop. Stop. Mommy needs to sit down. You got another chair. Oh my golly, Jeepers, I'm tired. Ciao. So I think I have a little bit left of this. Can I put some down? Is there anything in there? <laughs> Let me see. Mm. I don't know. Oh, there's some in there. Hold on. Uh, of course I forgot to get more. See what I mean? I always forget something. I need to, I need to, uh, I, I need, let me, my friends, I think this was $19.99 or $14.99. Y'all were in the store. You have to back this all back this video all the way back. I've been wanting one of these for a mighty, mighty long time. Because a lot of the stuff that I cook is in one pan or maybe two pans. They've got a double one with two of them on it. I'm going to get that. This may not make a lot of sense to, uh, to others. Child, if I don't plug you in. But it'll make sense to somebody that cooks. If you cook... Oh Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. If you, if you cook something relatively... If you cook something relatively simple I've been wanting one of these for a mighty long time I've never had one over the over the over the nine years the nine years that I have been cooking on YouTube I've never had one I've seen many youtubers have these some do not because they have the overhead camera. They've got a setup with an overhead camera above their stove, and you can see them stirring the food, right? 
Well, I don't have that set up, and I think this was $14.99 or $19.99. Oh, what this is is a single burner. It's a, you see the picture. You see the picture. It's pretty self-explanatory. When you're cooking in a video, and I'm way over here. I'm going to give the example. Now, this is just me talking about me and about nobody else, okay? So I'm way over here. I'm way over here. I say, hey, hey, I'm going to make some sauce today. I'm going to make sauce. I'm over here. I'm you can see me cooking. You, 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 you can see me add, okay, I'm going to add some oregano. I'm going to add some basil. You know, you see me, right? I'm giving an opinion. The audience wants you closer. They want to see what you're doing. Now, do whatever you want. If you, if you are successful at it in the way you're doing it, that's fine. I'm going to experiment. I went to Buy Mart. I took everybody. I've been on the air for three hours now. So you're going to have to back the video up. I've been wanting one of these hot plates for a while. If you do something like Hamburger Helper, just imagine yourself like this. Have, I, 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 just, I just need to say it, okay? You know, I just talk. Grandma just loves to talk, right? I don't love it, but you know, y'all like to talk. So what you do, when you're about to start, before you start your video, you know exactly what you're going to put in this thing. You put your hamburger, put this, put that, whatever that is, right? So you have all your, all your ingredients are lined up. All your ingredients are lined up. You've got a bowl with, you've got a bowl with the hamburger in it, right? You've got the hamburger helper or the spices you're going to have there. You got the noodles right there. Okay, today we're going to make this and we're going to brown the ground beef. And to the ground beef, we're going to add the following. And then you pan across. Pan across. But I digress. <clears throat> so what's nice about this, because I have a very, very tiny kitchen, and I only got that tiny little stove, here is your controls right here. Like a stove. It's like a mini stove. You do not want this around small children or even someone 11 or 12 years old, you know, in my opinion. But anywho, so you got this thing, see? You got this thing right here. I got the stove in front of me. You see? So when I'm cooking for y'all... I can have it right here. And I can just be right here. And I can just add stuff in. I'm pretending. You know, I can add stuff and put the top on it. And this is clear. And you can look directly and see exactly what I'm doing. You feeling me? You see? It's only been nine years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a long time. See, I got these thoughts in my head about how I want to do things, but I never had the, I never was able to do it because I just, everything was always messed up. Everything in life was messed up. I had to take care of the things that I was supposed to take care of. So incrementally, I'm trying to get the things that have been in my head for eight years. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think it makes it a more, I think this, in my opinion, if you're doing a one pan meal, I think this makes it a more, this is an opinion for your audience, your brothers and sisters in the audience. It makes it a more personal, close up experience. You gotta be, you know, I mean, you're not gonna be like this, obviously. But it makes it to where it's more of a close experience to pull your audience in. People are pa if people are passing by your channel and you're making spaghetti, the spaghetti is right here cooking. 
this, I'm going to get a double one and the sauce is right next door and it's cooking live, they may stop and get interested because it's right there and they can see it. These are thoughts. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to do anything that I'm doing. This is an experiment we're going to try. We're going to try it and see how it goes. Maybe we will start with the uh, the spaghetti, something very simple. But there's a double one, a double one that I want to get so I can have it right here. And we can just chit chat and I can be preparing stuff right in front, like right close and you can see it. You know, that's the thought. If you're wondering, why did you buy that? You got a stove. That's why I did it. That's why I did it. And then when I'm doing a video, if I want to cook something, I can I can um, I can have it right here and be doing. And you don't even have to see my face either. I can be like this. I can be like this if I don't want to show my face because I want you to concentrate on the food. I can just show my hands putting the stuff in, cooking, stirring, a cup of milk, you know, a tablespoon of this, you know, and you can just watch as it's going in here and it's happening. And then you put it on pause. Once it's all cooked up, you press play, as all of you know. And then you can show the finished dish. You can slide it, you know, put, and then you can take the food. Take the food right out. Your hamburger helper, your greens, whatever it is. You know, stop the, stop the video. You take it from here to right in front of you to eating it and saying, seeing what you think. I... I, I'm, I, I I think that most people, when you're cooking, they want to see. They want to see the pan. They want to see what's in there. That's why what I try to do every once in a while, I'll unhook the camera. I'll take the camera off the stands, and I bring you over to the stove, and I flip, and I say, okay, there's the there's the greens. There's, there's, the, um, there's the veggie bacon. There's my, uh, there's this, that, blah, 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 blah. You know, I make sure that you all get to see what I'm doing. And then I bring the plate up and show you, you know, I'm going to put the veggie burger together. And then if I think about it, I'll go to the freezer. I'll bring the packages out and say, this is, this is the package. I got this from Walmart. You know, I got this from Buy Mart or whatever, especially Walmart, because most people have a Walmart in their area. Do, 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 do people try the recipes that I cook, 90% no. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage that they eat the way that I do, which is real. I, I don't eat expensive. But these are the buffalo wings spelled W-Y-N-G-S. The great value, a.k.a. Walmart product. What this is, is a chicken McNugget, in my opinion. A chicken McNugget with a crunchy, hot, hot coating. If you like hot, I mean, I'm talking hot. Maybe to you it's not hot. This may not be hot to my son. My son has been eating, uh, having hot sauce since he was like three. <laughs> but yeah, you see what I'm saying? They're calling it a wing, but they made sure to spell it. It's a play on words because it's not a chicken wing. I think that's formed pressed chicken like McDonald's McNuggets. But boo boo, this is hot. But it tastes good. That's hot. But yeah, I'm always trying to share some of the things that I do. I have a very tiny channel, but I'm willing to share things because if you're cooking, if you're cooking and you want to do that, I don't have a problem sharing that with you. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody, oh, oh, sister such and so may use a burner like me. This is going to sound stupid, but this is how some people are. I'm not going to tell anybody about this. I'm just going to pop up with it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, I, I know sisters. I know Sister XYZ cooks better than me, and I know she stays far away from the camera, and I know that this might help her. 
So I'm jealous. I'm jealous of Sister XYZ. So I'm not going to tell Sister XYZ about this right now. Because I'm jealous of XYZ. I, I don't understand people, but some people are like that. Some people are like that. Do you know that if I was a smart aleck and I did not do that, if I, if I didn't do like, you know, we're just, we're just talking and I just showed it to you, whatever happens, it's no big deal. My channel is small, right? Do you know what God will do? He'll, he'll, he'll have, he'll have them get it. And maybe I'll get, if I was being evil, he'll, he'll make sure I get five views and sister, X, sister XYZ will get 50,000. You'll straighten me up right quick. <laughs> Come on now. I'm trying. I'm starting to think I may have to push a plate away, like a supper plate away for a few days for this, this woman over here. I'm starting to think that I may have to push the plate away one of my meals, some of my candy and goodies away. I got to really get into prayer for this. I prayed for her as soon as I woke up. As soon as I woke up. These taste really good. I know they're not probably good for me. And then I'm dipping them in Chick-fil-A sauce. The combination of the, the the hot coating. The chicken in the middle is juicy. It's juicy. And then this is slightly crunchy, slightly kind of soft crunchy. So you got this coating that's soft, crunchy like. And then you got the meat in the middle that's juicy. And then you have the spices on here, right? The combination to me, in my opinion, is a 10. But this may not be something that you may be a vegetarian. You may not can eat that. You may have a sensitive stomach and you can't handle hot food. But this is delicious. I would buy these again. And so I'm dipping them in a little bit of Chick-fil-A sauce. A Chick-fil-A dip, whatever way you want to call that. This Chick-fil-A sauce. This combination with the Chick-fil-A sauce and the uh, Walmart value brand chicken wings at W-Y-N-G-S, this combination is perfect. If you want a hot, spicy, hmm, I don't know how many more I can eat. I still got half a bagel. I may have to wrap this up and put it in the fridge. I'm enjoying these more. <laughs> but yeah, if you're if you if you cook on your channel and you're doing something in a one pan meal, like I said, do not let this be around small children. You don't want the children to think like this is like an easy bake oven. You don't want small children and kids eight years, seven years old, really young, to think this is kind of like a play toy. You know, that surface is very hot. I mean, it's meant, ooh, that thing's hot. It's meant for us to cook. And then I would not walk away while this is cooling down. I would not walk away while it was cooling down. If you have small children, you got to put it inside the sink and let it cool or put it somewhere maybe in your turned off oven to cool down. I just don't like the thought of this thing sitting on the table we walk away, it's hot, and a toddler thinks it's funny, not funny, but a toddler will climb on a chair because it looks interesting, and they'll burn their hand. So please, this, in my humble opinion, should be around adults and kids, six, I mean, 15, 16 and up. I'm not saying that your 12-year-old doesn't understand. Just you don't want this little hands getting on here and somebody getting burned. I just feel, I don't know why, I feel like I need to say that, you know, you have the grandkids over to visit and you decide you want to do something quick with it and then you turn it off, you're being safe, 
you unplug it, but it needs 35 minutes, a half hour to completely cool to the touch. I don't know how long that'll take with this thing, but I just want you to be careful with your with your small chip with if you have young children. I'm sorry, I got a squeaky chair with your uh with your young children, your grandbabies, that kind of thing. Oh yes indeed. This this is good. If you can handle heat, if you can handle buffalo wing sauce, Frank's Red Hot, it's on the level, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I don't give favorable reviews just to do it. I'll tell you if I like it or if I don't. This right here, if you can handle Frank Red's Hot, Red Hot, Frank's Red Hot, yeah, Frank's Red Hot. Ooh. You are just too crazy. You need to calm down. That's not a toy. Uh-uh. I don't want any of that in your tummy. None of that box. Uh-uh. Just a second. Just one moment. Hold on just a second, please. Just one moment. This right here. If you can handle that, the heat of this these WYNGS wings from from um, from Walmart, that's the level. That's the only way I can describe it as far as the level of heat. You may want to have a, something to cool it down or just take it straight up, but these are good. These are good for the game day, for watching a movie. You have a few on a plate, have a salad. Some celery, whatever. My son would love these. We had a long talk, me and my son. It looks like, I said it looks like, in the summer, about three months from now, let me see. What are we in? All May? What are we in? March? April? May? June? In about three months. Three months or so. My son should be right in here. I will be going to the airport to pick him up. Child, I haven't seen my baby in person. I think we're in year six. I think it's been six years now. I know it's been minimally five years, five years since I've had my son. Yeah, about five, uh, we're working on year six, I think. My Pepsi, I'm cooling my tongue off, goodness gracious. I apologize, I should have done this. I got this at my buy mart, but I'm pretty sure this is available. They got things like this at Walmart, you know, they got this at Target, they got it online, you all know the deal. This is a very common product. This is called Elite Gourmet. Elite Gourmet. And I got a single burner to start with. And we'll probably start by making spaghetti or something very simple with it. But they had a double burner, one with two on it, so I can got, I can got my spaghetti in the one. And then I can ground my hamburger, add my peppers and sauce to that, and I can prepare and cook the meal just about in front of you. I can put you up here and tilt down and have you right here with me. Of course, I'll be extra careful. I'm, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably, I mean, it sits up this high off the table, but I think I'm going to lay out some foil. Maybe some foil, and I have a um, I have a thing you put the flapjacks on, the big square thing, the griddle. I have a griddle. It's a non-electric griddle. It's level. So what I probably will do is put this on the put the griddle on the table to be careful, and then put this on the griddle just to be extra safe. But I do believe we're fine, you know, as far as the heat. But 
Uh, I don't own this place, and I got to be careful, you know. I got to be very responsible because I am a renter, not an owner. You know, you got to take you got to take them into uh, into consideration. I don't think there's anything very difficult. Yeah, it's just simply numerical. I will unplug for a moment. It looks pretty uh, pretty simple. It's just numerical. Go above there. I want to look. I'm looking through the camera. So you go all the way to max there. And start. You're starting. I believe that that's the that's the the marker point because it's pointy, right? So you just go one to five. And over to max. There's the off button right there. So I got to go back this way. Yep, I hear the click. Yeah, that's off. So it's very fairly simple. A heating plate, hot plate. But we're going to experiment close up of how it kind of looks real close. Got to be very, very careful. But yeah, I'm trying to bring the cooking experience as simple as the food will be. Very simple things that I cook. I'm trying to be, trying to bring the cooking experience just a little bit closer to you so that you can see what I'm doing. Most of you know that I, I don't cook anything real special. The only thing I can't do is, of course, bake. Child, they have so many newfangled things, so many countertop ovens. They had a, they had a, a double air fryer. They had a, a thing where it looked like a big toaster oven, right? It looked like a toaster oven, and then it had two air fry things. Two of them. So you could cook up here and air fry in two separate containers on the bottom. It's crazy. But I think the, why do I, th I think these things are great for people that have limited space. For people that live in a, a, a studio, a person that is living in a, a hotel. There's a lot of people that sadly had been evicted from their apartments and so they quick got a hotel their my son used my son used to live in one a weekly hotel i used to go over and bring him stuff i would go i would go over there and babysit uh for uh emma and al was it was it just just emma no it was emma and alan and i would go over to their hotel before they got their apartment they lived in one so I, I went over and I would babysit for them while they went out and do what they need to do. Oh, yes, indeed. You know, one's going to work and one needed to go do things. So I said, I'll be right over. And, you know, the, the, the place had a microwave, but they had a few things. So I'm thinking stuff like this, an air fryer and a toaster and stuff like that, you, if you're there with your children, you can prepare a pretty good meal with a burner and the toaster or the toaster oven where you can even bake a cake because what tends to happen when you live in a hotel like that, you tend to want to get fast food because you can't cook. Maybe they had a small microwave, but if you get things like this, this opens up the door to where you can live rather cheaply. You won't be spending all your money on the food. You can cook your own food and not spend $50 for you you and your three children. You can get $50 worth of groceries and put it in the small refrigerator in the hotel room. You know what I mean? Shimon now. Anyways, I would like to thank you so very much for tuning into my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And do you know, ladies and gentlemen, that I have 39 thumbs up. 39 thumbs up. That's a freaking miracle. Thank you so very much. But thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I apologize for my broken glasses. But my glasses are probably in the car. And I was tired and I just wanted to come in and just wanted to come in and sit down. I'm gonna I gotta go back out there and get my glasses. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, these are dangerous. I can't, I can, I could probably eat two or three more of these. I got to wrap this up. My belly is starting to get full, believe it or not, because I had that bagel first. Thank you, Pond and Garden Sanctuary. You eat the bagel? Come on over. Dang it. She says, damn it, now I want everything bagel too. <laughs> oh, we love that. They're at Walmart, Regina. I'll show you the bag. I'll show you the bag, honey. Are you talking about the, the chicken or the or the uh or the cooker? These are like McNuggets. These are the ones that are at Walmart. These right here. They're really good. Like I said, I tried to warn the heat of these is kind of equates to the heat of a Frank's a Frank's Red Hot. It's a buffalo tasting, but with this kind of heat. They taste to me. I love, I, I like them. I, I like them a lot. My first time trying these, Regina, if that's what you're talking about. There's a store, there's a store, a store, I can't even talk. There's a store, a store called Bymart. And that's where I got this. Very simple. This is for my, this is, I just bought this for my, primarily for my YouTube channel. For, for y'all, you know, if I want to cook right here at the table, bring you in a little bit closer. That's why I did this for, I think, I think it was $14.99 or $19.99. But like I said, I knew that I, I had taken care of my, <laughs> I taken care of my financial responsibilities, my rent and all my bills. And then I was blessed by the father to have YouTube kick in and then my check kick in. And so I went and I got my, I got my, uh, I got my laptop. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I set, I set my laptop up. It, it wasn't that difficult. There's a few things that I don't like about it. See what I'm trying to do on my laptop. I'm trying to get, I apologize. This is just about empty. What I'm trying to do is get the YouTube icon on the main page. You know how you have all those icons? I can get the YouTube icon, which I can just click on and get to YouTube. I can get that in the task bar at the bottom. But I cannot get it on the main, you know, when you, when you first open, turn your computer on. All your icons come up, you know, your recycle bin, uh, this, this, this sh shortcut, a shortcut. When I right click, how I got my shortcut for you from YouTube, and this was six years ago, I went to the YouTube site, I right clicked, and it said, create a shortcut. Well, now... Six years later, I get this new computer, this new laptop, by God's grace. Thank you, Father. I click right, I right click, and it doesn't have the area that says create shortcut. It's different. So I'm, Grandma's trying to figure that out. And then when I turn the computer on, okay, you got to uh, put your email. You got to verify it's you. Then they send you a code. Then you send them back the code. Then they say, put the password. Then they say, change the password so you're secure. Then you change the password. Then it came back again and said, your password, change it again. You change your password to a more secure password with upper and lower case and symbols. You all know the drill. I know this sounds very familiar to a lot of you. It's kind of aggravating. I understand the safety. I understand, especially if you're going to buy something from uh, walmart.com or Amazon. And then it says, give me a pin number. So you got to put the password. You got to put the pin number. You got to give them some DNA, a, a DNA, some blood, some urine, a fingerprint. <laughs> oh, it was nuts. So I'm doing, I just, you know, I'm doing, get down, get down. You heard, yeah, you speak English. 
You know what I said. Get down. Yeah, so I went through, I jumped through all the hoops. And I finally got in there. I click on I click on the YouTube. And then I right click to see if I could get it on the left. It would only add it to the taskbar. The little skinny taskbar is at the bottom, right? So when I turn the computer on, the taskbar doesn't immediately come on. I'm like, where? I'm like, where is the taskbar at? Why isn't it like my other computer was so simple? My other computer was so simple. My other laptop, I would turn it on. The, 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 the taskbar would be right there, you know, and it has a different kind of a, a you know, the flat mouse. What is that flat mouse? You know, the, the built in mouse. I got no problems navigating a little bit, but the right click and all that. No, I had to dig in my closet and find my nice old wire mouse right and left click with the wire i took it i plugged it in i said please i hope this isn't the broken one i hope this was the last one that i had it's been sitting in that closet for years <laughs> i said i hope it works i don't want to go to walmart i plugged it in it lit up on the bottom navigation yeah <laughs> thank you thank you oh yes indeed <laughs> Those are the things that you would have missed if I would have kept the camera on, which would have been, you know, come on. Oh my gosh. Computers are different. Computers are different. Now you're trying, to, you're telling me Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 12, Windows, 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 right? You're saying, okay, update. I just set my computer up at late at night. My son called me my time, five o'clock in the morning. He's the only one that can get away with ringing my phone at five o'clock in the morning. He's the only one that can get away with that. So I'm calling him back. I'm like, I texted him back. I texted my son back because I didn't want to wake up the baby. I'm pretty sure he had the phone on vibrate. Because once you get that baby to bed, ooh, don't make any noise. I forgot what I was going to say. But anyways, oh, I had only been asleep for, I don't know, four or five hours, whatever that was. So I literally just finally got the computer set up. It had been set up. I fell asleep. Uh, after I talked to my son for about an hour or 40 minutes, whatever that was. When I turn the computer on less than eight hours later, you must update. Click this update. I'm looking at, I'm like, I just bought this thing and I just set it up and you already have an update. Things are different now. I, I don't know what, you know, they add so many different things to it. I, I am computer illiterate. See, I want to, Press the power button. I want the computer to come on, of course. I want the screen with a bunch of shortcut icons, like shortcut icons. Okay, I can get to YouTube by clicking this. I can get to YouTube Studio to edit my videos or whatever. I can get, I can go over to uh, Walmart, if I want to go to Walmart, if I want to go to Amazon, whatever. Uh, there's only two shortcuts on my screen. They had a whole bunch of junk that I had to get rid of. But the taskbar has about six icons. One of them is Alexa. I'm like, what in the world is Alexa? What is Alexa doing on my laptop? I've never had Alexa in my whole life. I think Alexa is nosy. I think Alexa is the government. The government records things. If you say the wrong thing, I think it starts recording. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, that's all I want. Please excuse me. I turn you on. 
It takes a minute. Maybe once a week it asks me to press for update and to hit the restart button so it can update. I, I get that. An icon for my email. An icon. Maybe I didn't put the TikTok up there. Mm -mm. And then when I and this is the part I'm a little nervous about. I'm gonna start use. I'm going to start using my camera again. The way I used to use my camera, have the S. Excuse me. Do the video. Have my S. D card, I slide that into my laptop, load it onto there, and then I can play around. And um, edit, edit the thing. I can edit it. It used to be very simple on Windows 8. I know I sound like a dinosaur simply say, saying the number 8 when there's probably Windows 11, 12, or 13, whatever it is. I don't like things very complicated. I like it to be simple. I start a video. I hit the pause button. I do something else in the video. I video that piece. I video the next piece. It's on the SD card. The SD card is inserted into the bottom or wherever it is on the side of my laptop. Or you can use the wire right in there. It'll upload it. And then there was this other, there was this, uh, it came with the computer, my old computer. There was an editing software. It was very simple. A lot of people said it was old fashioned. So what I would do is I had an over 50 and fantabulous intro. I would grab that. It was preset on the outside as an icon. I'd literally take it off the out, out, outer screen and drag it in with the video information. So you got intro, you got section, a video portion one, two, and three. You have a segue, whether you want it to segue in a swirl, in a bunch of dots, whatever. So intro, whatever I say on the intro, a, a gentle segue and then opens up to me talking, showing something, closes and reopens up to the next segment, closes like with a bunch of bubbles or something, right? And then there is an outro. And then you hit uh, finish or whatever that button was, and then you would have your completed video. Completed video. And go over to uh, YouTube, you could drag the video from your computer right over into YouTube, but it's a little bit different now. But it was very simple. That's what I used to do when I first started on YouTube. That's the exact, sorry to be so wordy, but that was the entire process of me doing a video. My camera in my hand and from, from scene to scene, it was very important to me to have a, a gentle, or an interesting segue between scenes. Some people darken, they go to dark, and then they go to light in the next scene. Okay, today we're gonna be making these chicken McNuggets, everybody. I'll, I'll, we're, I'll be making some chicken nuggets, and I stop and I pause. Chicken nuggets are done. I did that scene. The next thing, I'm not gonna talk in the next one. I'm just gonna show. Sometimes I think people talk too much. You don't have to describe every single little thing that you do. What I tend to do is I may talk a little bit, but I like to shut up and let you look at it. So the next scene, I talk a little to show you what I'm going to do. In the next scene, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not even gonna look at the camera. I'm gonna be looking at the oven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like this, I, I, like Michael Jordan. I'm like this, I know where that button is. I'm going to hit the button and you're going to see me opening the oven and putting these in. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit that pause button. And then the next scene you're going to see is me, maybe you'll see a plate coming down. 
like that. And then I'll talk. You won't see my face. I'll talk and take whatever that is. All right, everybody, let's give them a try. And you're just going to see me reach. You'll see me reach for it. You may hear me eat. And then I'll say, all right, I'm going to tell you the truth. I give it an eight out an eight out of 10. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. And then you're out. I know that sounds kind of weird, me going on about this for a little bit, but there's some times where I watch videos and the person will describe something they don't need to describe. You know, I'm about to, okay, I'm about to throw this in the trash. Why would I say that? Why would I say that on camera? Why would you say I'm about to throw this in the trash or something like that? People are very impatient and they want, they want us to get to the point. They can tell if you're trying to drag the video to make it long. The audience can tell. And what they're going to do is they're going to speed ahead. They're going to hit times two. If you're purposely trying to be slow to stretch a video to a half hour, the audience recognizes what you're doing. And they're going to go into, they're going to click, they're going to click times two. And you're going to be talking like this through the video. And you're going to be talking fast through the video like that. And it'll only count instead of 30 minutes. Them doubling it up will count for 15 minutes on your video. I am telling you, I've had discussions with people. I've been down here for a long time. It doesn't make me smarter than anybody on YouTube. My old behind just happens to be on here. And I've heard a lot of people in a lot of lives, a lot of live broadcasts and discussions of all different kinds of videos, all different kinds of subject matter, all different kinds of people talking about YouTube creators, videos, what, what they find boring, what they like, blah, 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 blah. So the old ladies heard a few things. Yeah. If you tried to drag it, your audience, is, your audience isn't stupid. They know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you do whatever you want to do in your video. I just, maybe it's just me. It's a personal thing. When I'm doing, when I'm showing food for a one minute video, I don't know why. I try not to talk too much in the video. If it's a short, I want you to see it. I want to do it in such a way that you get it. You know, when I did the, the my last plate up video, when I plated my food, it was salmon and vegetables. It was salmon. It was vegetables and it was pasta. The original video, I think that video was what? 30 seconds or less. The original video was almost three minutes long. The original video was almost three minutes long. I was cooking and I had a long video. I looked at it. I said, I don't like this. I don't think they need to see everything I did. I think that they're going to more want to just see the food. See the food. So I made the decision to go in and edit the video. I cut out two minutes and 30 seconds. So all you see is the plate coming away. You can hear it frying. You can tell I fried it. I had it in one pan. So all you see maybe is the plate moving a little bit away from the fry pan. You may see that, I think. I forget how I did that. But basically you see just the plate and then you see the food. I decided that I didn't like the way it looked. And some people don't want to do that. They want to keep it long, 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 long. But everything in me said don't do that. Have it be a shorter video. And then I did a real stupid video, but I just was having fun with my cat. I was having fun with my cat. That would probably, I didn't look at it. That probably got five views, but I don't care because I love my cat and I thought it was fun to do that with her. I play and play around with my kitty cat. I love, you know, to, 
I sing to her. I throw stuff so she can catch it. I do stuff for her. So I decided to, to share it. It may be the dumbest video I've done this year, but I really don't care. <laughs> I was just having fun with my cat. Decided to put her on the video. <laughs> I admit it. I, I am annoying to her sometimes. I ain't going to front. she probably get tired of me. But I digress. I'm trying to figure out shorts because it was strange over 400 on one short, then four on another and 68 on another. I just don't get it. Exactly. It. Oh, I want to tell you something else. You know what Lady Dark Sky, is that Lady Dark Sky? Hold on, Lady Dark Sky. Yeah, you know what? When you, when you go to upload, you know how it says you hit the little pencil to edit? You hit the little pencil to edit on YouTube Studio. In the, uh, excuse me, the version on the, on the, on the, uh, on the cell phone. You hit the pencil, right? Then it says tags, tags, and categories, right? So you click that and you can add a tag. Then you got to put a comma in between for it to be one tag. Uh, let's say um, soda, comma, and then that goes up. Drinks, comma, that's your tags. But there's the other thing, Lady Dark Sky. Your, uh, oh, don't let me forget, Lord. Your category. Your category. I made a mistake one time. It was on people and vlogs because a bunch of my videos were lives. So it was on the category of people and vlogs. The next video was a cat video. I left left it on people and vlogs. I forgot to hit that pencil and change my category. I have been meaning to say this and many of you may know this, but don't forget, if you did a video showing soaps, say, hey, I'm going to be, I have my, I have my, I'm going to be a slice of, I just got done making these soaps. I'm about to slice them. Whatever way you're going to present it, because it's your channel and you know exactly what your audience is looking for, right? So you're going to do the slicing of the soaps or packaging or discussing whatever it is you're choosing. And the day before you did a video you vlogged or you were with your dog or cat. Excuse me, my throat, I'm about to cough. Long story short, make sure the category matches up with the video. Make sure the category matches up with the video. Because if I have cats, if I have a cat, if I left it on pets, animals and pets, whatever that is for, for your animal, and I'm cooking, I've made a huge mistake. Because whoever, look at my face. Hey, look at me. I had to go back to my videos. I had, I had it stuck. I had my cat videos under people and vlogs. I had a cooking video under cats. So make sure that when you do your tags, look at the category, the word category, click on it and make sure your video, the subject matter of the video matches with the category so that you're going to reach, that's the group you want. I took my dog into PetSmart. I want all the dog lovers and the people looking for animal videos, that specific category to find my video. I want to make sure I line that up just right. See, Papa Texas told the truth. Papa Texas. Papa Texas. He shoots straight from the hip. He tells you the truth. He said, look, we were talking about YouTube. We were talking about videos. 
I was talking about the little the little personal shaver video and how it had 16,000 views. It had 16,000 views. And I think I was talking about the fact that if you get a new product, I don't care if 2,000 people did a video about the product you just bought. Well, guess what? You just bought that product. Go ahead and do the video. Because you never know what video is going to take off. You just don't know. Don't be intimidated because you see somebody else getting a lot more views than you. Like I see it all the time. I don't care. That doesn't bother me. I'm like this. Go ahead. Y'all go ahead and do good. I'm just over here in my own little corner, in my own little world, and I just do what I do. You see all the different goofy videos. I, I do videos about everything. I don't, you know, I just, you know, that's part of my problem. If I were to just do it on two different subject matters, uh, my channel would probably be bigger, but that's just not me. But I digress. You never know. You never know which video is going to do well. Do not be intimidated by a person that has, there's nothing wrong with them having 100,000 subscribers or 50,000 or 20,000 subscribers. Don't ever think of yourself as that small. Do the video. It's new to you. You open the box, plug it in, whatever that is. Start the video. I want to do an unboxing about XYZ. Here is, it is the, and then I sort of, before I turn the camera on, I read it to my electric single flow. I'm like this. Okay, Elite Gourmet Electric Single Flat Burner. And I say that, and then I look at it again. Illegal Gourmet, listen, Elite Gourmet Electric Single Flat Burner. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to do, be doing an unboxing of my Elite Gourmet Electric Single Flat Burner. I gotta say it and get it out of my mouth to try not to fumble. Here are the instructions. Like that, and then you go over to the next segment, shows you opening it up, plugging it in, trying it out. Uh, the intro, the stuff, the outro. I don't know why it doesn't bother me, I'm not afraid. I never get intimidated. I don't care if Mr. I don't care if Mr. Beast, God bless him. If Mr. Beast did a video about these, I'd still do my video. Don't be intimidated. Why are you intimidated? I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying, you know, come on. Hey, Ken Act. Hey, Ken Act of Kindness. Love you. Thank you, Ken Act of Kindness. How many subscribers do you have to go live? About 50? Probably about 50. Hey, KE Vlogs, I went on two or three nights ago on my, I have another YouTube channel called Over 50 and Blessed. I have 80 subscribers, 82 subscribers on there. When I had 70 subscribers, I think it could be 50, but I had 70 subscribers. I did a test. I switched from over 50 and Fantabulous. You know how you switch channels? I switched to over 50 and Blessed and I sat outside. I hit the live button and I went live as a test. And I believe at that time I had about 60 subscribers. I think the new number is 50 or more. Somebody in the chat can correct me. Somebody in the chat can correct me. You can have under 100 subscribers and go live now. I practice. I did it. You can have under 100 subscribers and go live. That is a great way to build up your channel. And then wait. You don't make every... I'm just of the opinion that everybody doesn't need to be a moderator in the beginning. Take your time and get to know people. Do not be intimidated. Do not be intimidated. Do not be intimidated. <laughs> I'm an old lady and I do videos. I'm talking to you. I've been on here for hours. It just turned four hours. 
I've been on the air yesterday. I was on the air for five hours because I'm in a mood. I feel like I'm making up for lost time where I did, wasn't doing video. I don't know what this is. I asked God to help me. I asked God to help me. I asked God to remove depression. I, I asked God to bind in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to bind the spirit of depression. Uh, Father God, remove and send back any curse or anybody thinking negative about me. Uh, they're hoping that I fail. Uh, they're mad at me for whatever reason that they're imagining in their mind. Any negativity and to cancel Satan's assignment that could possibly be someone could be thinking wrong. Stop, boo. Stop that. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, 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 I'm begging God. I'm pleading with the Lord to help me not to be depressed. I'm asking God to help me. I need you, Lord. I cannot breathe another breath, wake another day, live another day without you, Heavenly Father. And little by little, excuse me, I'm sorry. Things are getting incrementally better over here, little by little grateful every step of the way, grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ and making sure he gets all of the honor, God gets all of the glory and all of the credit. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Acknowledge him in all, thank you, Father. Thank you for reminding me. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. So I'm like, I said, you know, I don't want to go. I don't want to. I, I knew I wanted to get the soil and do a few things today. I said, you know what? I wonder what Goodwill is looking like. And then I said, well, I should stop at the post office. I'm wasting the gas or using the gas. And then I'm like, you know something? I'm going to take everybody with me. I started to feel like my old self again. I started to feel like my old self again. I'm talking about the good portion of me from North Carolina. So we went into the post office at the beginning of this broadcast four hours ago. We went into the Hermiston uh, post office. I took you to the park that is right next to it and showed you the park. We went around, pointed out some things. And then we went over to the first store and we got the burner. We got the, we got this thing at Bymart, walked you in Bymart a bit. And then after that, we went over to Goodwill. We left. Yeah, this is, if you just got in here, this is what we did all day today. <laughs> we left, we left the Goodwill and then we drove over to Walmart. I do believe, right? We went to Walmart. We went to Walmart. We got the cat food. We spent quite some time in the Goodwill because we were looking at dresses. Oh, Lady Dark's got your dress. Your your uh, thing. I gotta put it in the dryer. No, I ain't gonna do that. I know what to do. I'm gonna get a hanger. Wait a minute. We bought a um we bought a robe for Miss Lady Dark Sky. I got a pair of shoes and I think three dresses. And we left Goodwill. We left Goodwill. We went to Walmart. We got our nail polish, our clear polish, our cat food. We went to the gas station. We went to the gas station. Then I had a rant. I had to I had to rant. Because the lady next door that keeps was knocking at my door. I put that table in the way. She put two apples. <laughs> with her crazy ass. She put two apples on my table. Two tiny apples on my table. I forgot I gotta throw them away. I should. I should take the two apples. I should take the two apples and put them on her porch, but I don't want to do that. I'm not going to give into that. I'm just going to take the apples. I'm not going to touch them with my hand. 
I'm going to put them, I'm just going to throw them away without touching them. But I digress. Come on, Lady Dark Sky. So when we were, do you see this right here? Do you see these nail polishes? The Lady Dark Sky. She, I think I have about 14 polishes. Look at this. That's her. That's Lady Dark Sky. I'm talking about dress and earrings and watch and perfume and all kinds of things that Lady Dark Sky has sent me. So here we are. And this pales and does not equal to what she's done for me. But when we were in Goodwill, I said, what do you think? I go, do you like that? And she said, I like that. I go, you like it? She's like, yeah. I said, all right. I said, well, I said, it's a, uh, oh, you know what it is? It's a shine product. That's from Shine, Lady Dark Sky. So what did we do? We bought it for her. We bought this for Lady Dark Sky. Yes, we did. So I told her, I go, look, when I come home, I'm going to put this in the washer for you. And don't worry, I'm going to make sure we use the, the all clean and clear. You know, I let Lady Dark Sky know that I'm not using anything with extra perfume. So we got, we bought this. It was $4.99. And we bought this beautiful robe for our sister, Lady Dark Sky. Look at this. Look, look at the sides. Look at the size of this. Look at this robe. It's gorgeous. Look at that. So we just, right in front of your face, as you saw me put it in, we washed it. Now, she can wash it as many times as she wants to be sure, but I am not, I got to wash it. So, Lady Dark Sky, there is your robe. We're going to let it dry. got to dry. I ain't putting a wet robe in the thing. We're going to put it over here. I'm going to hang it on, the, I'm going to have it on the shower stall over here. So, that'll dry over, that'll dry overnight. You know what I'm going to do? Lady Dark Sky sent her gifts in this box. The Lord works in mysterious ways. For some reason, I had this in the bathroom. I told you, Lady Stark Skies, I had your box sitting. I don't know why. I was putting some things away, but I refused to get rid of the box. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put your robe in this box. <laughs> Lady Dark Sky, I'll put a new label. I'm going to put a new label on here so you know what the box is going to look like. You're getting your box back. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to put your I'm going to put your robe in the box. I, I'm covering your name. I'm careful. But uh, your address, you know, but I'm going to put up. I'll, I'll take this off and your address is under my hand and we're going to excuse me. We're going to say send that to you. So there it is. I'm sorry, I got clothes on the floor. <laughs> Hold on. I got to move my dirty clothes from the floor. I got dirty clothes on the floor. But there it is. Hold on. I wanted to see it. There you are, Lady Dark Sky. She's all clean. Look at, look at, oh, if you want to get a nice look, look at that. Look at that. You know, I want to start doing this more often. I think once a month I should go to Goodwill and buy somebody something and send it to them. I don't know what that is. That's just, that's, that's nothing bad. That's just a thread. It's just a thread, Lady Dark Sky. See, it's just a thread. Well, let's look at it. That's just my, that's a clean towel, I promise. But I don't want it to fall. It'll slip if there isn't something under it. It'll fall. So I got the towel under there, but let's get a good look. So. Wow, that is sharp. That is very, very pretty. There's, there's, by looking at it, I don't see any cuts. I don't see any tears. And there's your sleeve. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Yes. And it is a shine product. So we're going to let that dry overnight until tomorrow afternoon. If I don't mail, today is what, Friday? No, tomorrow's Friday. Okay. I'll have to toss it in the dryer in the morning for a few minutes. Thank you for your donation. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Ken, Act of Kindness, for being so kind and visiting with us. But yeah, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Okay. 
And then, yeah, that's what that's that should be a new thing. Lady Dark Sky, I think we're starting something really good. Is she still here? Or am I talking to myself? <laughs> oh, she's right there. Lady Dark Sky, I think we I think we just started something really good. Okay, I got clothes in the dryer. Mm. I'm going to turn this on for 15 minutes. Okay, I've got my stuff. I'm just going to take my stuff out of the dryer and lay it. I'm just going to lay my stuff like this. I'm going to lay my stuff on the edge here. So it doesn't get, you know, if you leave wet stuff in your washer, you get that funky smell. Don't leave it in the washer. i got to take it out. And we're going to let this dry. And uh, we'll put it in the dryer after this uh, the clothes are done. But we bought uh, items that can, uh, we bought a vest and we bought two, uh, two very cat, one, one, um, blah, 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 a vest and two dresses. I think, Lady Dark Sky, I think we've started something good. Wouldn't that be cool? We go to, we go to the Goodwill once a month, go over there and then see if we can find something. And then I just I'll just go ahead and gift that to somebody. I can finally, little by little, I can finally start giving back to people that have been giving to me for quite some time. It's time to turn this around and time for the old woman to start giving back. Yes, it is. It's that time. You know, I'm gonna tell you, I cannot wait. My sister Deborah Catch It by Faith, that young lady right there, and Catherine with friends, those ladies, they know how to crochet. And uh, I have something coming for my son. I'll ask my sister Deborah Catch It by Faith when I get it if she wants me to show it on the YouTube. But she sent me a picture. I will not share it until she says that I can. But she sent me the picture of something that my granddaughter, Nora, will receive from Deborah Catch It By Faith. Her and Catherine with friends, they are crocheting queens. There's probably other ladies, even men crochet, right? And I looked at this picture of this beautiful blanket, this beautiful hat, these beautiful little booties for babies. It looks like something you would go to a high-end store to buy. And she is blessing my, my grand... I don't think she'll mind me saying that, that she's blessing my granddaughter, Nora. And so it may come to the P.O. box, but I'm... And, and that's what I she asked whether... Because she knows everything. She knows who I am and everything. So I really would like to feature... A, even if it's just a short video, I want to show you. You've seen the poncho and the sweater that Deborah Catch It By Faith made for me. You've seen that poncho that I wear, uh, uh, wear, wore a couple times already. I'm telling you, God has gifted these two ladies. God has gifted these two ladies to be able to crochet like that. I don't know how to crochet. I know how to knit. I can knit a, a, not a sweater, <laughs> I can knit a scarf. And my scarf be kind of crooked. Get down. Get down. I need to sit down, okay? Don't get mad. You'll have the chair back in a few minutes. But yeah, we got that all cleaned up. I tend, as you can tell, I probably drive some of you crazy. I tend to overshare. I overshare. I overshare because I don't want people to get mad at me. I want to make sure to make sure that something's absolutely clear. You know, if I say I'm going to do something, I want to show you what I'm doing. So you see every step to know I'm telling you the truth. You know, I tend to over, you know. If I told uh, Lady Dark Sky, I washed your item and it's on its way, I could have just did that. But it's like I felt just, you know, to do what I just did. Because it's an item she'll put on her body, you know what I mean? So I want her to see, you know, I wash my hands, 
everything is clean. There's nothing, you know, I'm a germaphobe anyway, a little bit of a, a little bit of a germaphobe anyway. Oh, yes, indeed. It's not much, but it's something. I know how to knit and crochet, but scarves and blankets, but not the squares or clothing. Yeah. I wish a poncho like Deborah made for you. Well, I can talk to, we can talk to her about that. I can talk to her about that. We can talk to her, but we'll see. But I know that her sister, Catherine with friends, likes to make things for babies. You know, she likes to make things for babies. And her sister, Catherine with friends, she made these little booties, the little, little booties. They look like little sneakers. They look like little sneakers. Incredible work. I'm like, ladies, Catherine, she was on live. This was last year. I said, you need, you could make a whole bunch of sets. You could make a whole bunch of sets. We we're just talking. I was doing the typing, not on, but anyways, I said, you can have an Etsy shop, you know, an Etsy shop and just, just take your time before you do it. And maybe, you know, have 20 sets of a hat, maybe the hat, and then the little boots, the little boots. And then what you can do is even at the, even at the Dollar Tree, even at the Dollar Tree, there are certain boxes you can buy or whatever, you know, and you can start a small business if you choose, but my sister's. They like to, they like to, if, if the father touches their heart, if the father touches their heart, they'll want to give to someone's child. They don't do this for everybody, but if the father touches their heart, they may just send something out of the kindness of their hearts, not seeking anything, you see. What a blessing. I sent the picture to my son. My son, my son is losing his mind. He thinks it's so beautiful. But I think to be able to make a poncho, to make baby blankets, to make hats, and I think Catherine and her, they make little sweaters. Catherine, uh, or Sister Deborah Ketchup by Faith made me a full-size sweater. It's hanging in my closet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. And I remember years ago, I know I'm talking, <laughs> years ago, what is her name? I see a wolf in my head. Wolf, no. Um, come on, come on, come on. Come back to my memory, your name. Oh my gosh. She made me a red knit hat. And it, the, red, the red knit hat can also be a purse. I've had it for almost, I had it for eight years now. Who's trying to call me? No, I can't talk to you. It's my, it's my younger sister trying to call me. Oh my gosh, this thing is hot. Where's my hat? I'll show you. I keep putting things back in the wrong place. And everything is messy in my bedroom. I think it's under my pillow. Wait a minute. I'm sorry that I'm chewing and talking. Oh, the other thing from the uh, the other thing we got today. I asked you. One of you said it was good. This was a good deal. This was a good deal for four dollars and ninety nine cents. I go. What do you think? Tell me. What do you think? That you said. Yeah, that matches your dress. I'm like, okay, I'll get it. So we got these shoes too for four ninety nine. It's hard to find shoes in my size. I have very big feet. I'm a big person. I'm not bigger than everybody, but I'm five foot ten. I weigh 185 pounds, and I wear a size 11 shoe. My sister's five foot seven, size seven shoe. I don't know why God made me look like this and made me this size. I don't know, but He just did, and I just I'm just glad for what I have. I can't find my hat. The weird sound is my sister Carmen leaving me. Sometimes my sister Carmen leaves me a normal, a get down right now, get down right now, get down, get down. 
my sister Carmen will leave me a normal message, but sometimes my sister Carmen will leave me a message that's nuts. It just depends on the mood that she's in. Father, you know I'm on the edge. Can you please have quote unquote normal people with normal a normal mentality be in my life so I'm not driven crazy? Can you help me, Lord? Can you help them to help themselves sometime, Lord? <laughs> Get down. What, what are you mailing at? Get down. Get down. Get down. Cheryl Coyote. That's, that's the name of the person. That's why I said Wolf. I was trying to remember, was it Wolf? Her YouTube name is Cheryl Coyote. I think, she, I don't know. I think she's still subscribed to me. You can take this. And you can, if I can do it just right, it can be like a bag, right? See that? It can be a bag. Or you can take it and then stretch that out. Got to do it just right. Make sure maybe you want to loosen that, that thing up. Loosen it, right? And maybe I'll loosen that tie. I've had this hat for hat slash bag for years. And then you take it, the bag, just fold it. Where's the oh? It's got the little it's got the little tassels on it. I'm sorry, I got it the wrong way. It's got little tassels on it like that. So then you take it and then you fold it to fit your head. I have a I have a huge head. And you fold it all the way around. This is from Cheryl Coyote. That's her YouTube name, Cheryl Coyote. And then you can wear it like this, like a head. See that? And that is really cute. It had one big fat tassel in the middle. I took it off. I didn't like it. <laughs> she said you could take them off if you want to. I left all the I left the rest of them on. But I wear this hat. Yeah. So you have a hat. Here's your hat, which I think is absolutely cute. Or turn it out like this. Untie, pull up, and here's your bag. Got a little bag, you put stuff in there and just walk on and got yourself a bag. This is the coolest thing. I have some of the most wonderful human beings in the world that are subscribed to me. Some of those most wonderful human beings on earth are subscribed to my channel. I've had this. Nine. Probably seven years. Seven years I've had this. And there's nothing. It got a little stretchy or whatever, but I throw it in the washer. I throw it in the washer. It does just fine. It's been, it's been through the wash and it's still held up. And so I like to wear it as a hat. But that's from Cheryl. She's on YouTube. Cheryl, C-H-E-R-Y-L, coyote, like a coyote. I th it amazes me how people can do that because if you look at it, these look like little buttons. You see there? That looks like a button. I don't know how in the world she did this. How? I, I, what do I know? I don't know how to do this. I don't know. That's incredible work. You see that? Now you can see it better. Do you see this? It's like you got this, then you got a tighter stitch, a tighter stitch, then you have a raised stitch, and then a, you have this at the edge. You, you make this, you braid that, and then you put that in between to have it be a drawstring bag. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's I should describe it better. It's a drawstring bag and a hat. That's amazing. That's amazing. 
like I said, I, I, I received the most love on earth. And people say, why? Why do people always say, why did I, I go, I don't know. I don't know. I pray for everybody. And I'm just, I show everything in here. Everybody sees I'm pretty transparent. I'm pretty transparent. There's not. There's nothing goofy happening here. It's just me and the cat. <laughs> me and the cat and maybe Mr. Tim. God willing, in the name of Jesus Christ, maybe about June, maybe my son. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm, I'm, I, want, I want to take that back. I ain't speaking that over myself. I'm going to be very happy to see my son in person. I'll be very happy. I wish he could bring my granddaughter, but no, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, thank you, Father God. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Lord. We'll see what happens. It depends on how life is. If something happens with the baby or something happens to the situation there where he can't come, that's why I said, let's say I'm 70% sure that he might come here. <laughs> I'm going to be cautious. I'll say seven. there's a 70% chance that you'll, I don't know if my son will go on camera. He probably won't. He'll let you hear him talk, but I don't think he'll want to be on camera. We'll see what he says, you know. You know. We're very careful. We're very careful. That's just how, you know, um, he has a right to his privacy. It's no big deal. Well, he knows I'm on here. My son, for the most part, I kind of laugh about it. Child mom was eating all these things. <laughs> kind of salty. Don't eat too many at one time. Kind of salty. Or the next day, have low salt meals. Because that stuff, that's, that's naughty stuff. These McNuggets, they call them wings, W-Y-N-G-Z, from the uh, Walmart, or from Walmart. This is something you eat, and then for two days, you better behave yourself. You eat this, the next day, you better have a salad. <laughs> Start your day with a fat-free yogurt. Have a salad for lunch, have some fish or grilled chicken, and a salad for dinner. It, it, this has, I can tell by tasting, that's got a lot of salt. So this is a once in a while, this is a, it's the weekend. I've behaved for four or five days. It's the weekend. This is my cheat day. I'm going to have me a big old plate of these with some dip. And some cheesecake and goodies. That's what this is. <laughs> you can't have this every day. I'm telling you right here. You just blow up like a balloon. The minute I, I'm drinking too. I'm probably tomorrow morning. I'm going to wake up. My head's going to be like that. <laughs> oh, we love that cheesecake, Lady Dark Sky. Lady Dark Sky, if I could send you some cheesecake, I probably could. See, I can do stuff once a month. <laughs> I can do stuff once a month. I would love to do that for you. They have the, uh, you know what they got at Walmart? Lady Dark Sky. They got that sampler. It's a Walmart cheesecake sampler. It's got the chocolate cheesecake. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's got a, it's like in quarters. It's got the regular New York style cheesecake. It's got the ch all chocolate piece. And then it's got the strawberry piece, the strawberry. I forget it's four pieces. Oh, that's something to consider for next month. I'm not even joking. I'm not going to say this now and forget either. See, when it's about six days away, when it's about five days away, away from the social security check hitting i figure you know i figure everything that i've got to pay and the minute it hits i'm paying bills 
the minute it hits, I'm on the I'm I'm paying bills. Uh, my son said the same thing to me. I said, son, this is going to sound really stupid. I said, son, I need you to send money to the cash app because I don't want to open up my che regular checking account and put money on cash app from my checking account. I don't want to do that. I said, can you... <laughs> cash at me this little bit of money I will turn around and send it back to you even if it's going to cost me a little fee for PayPal because I want the money <laughs> to be in my cash app so I can use it for something I had something that I wanted to do for somebody I forgot what I was going to say at the very beginning Lady Dark Sky but yeah I think that would be fun. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so you th you you have to think very carefully when you when your money comes in once a month, you got to be very very careful. What you're trying to do um you're trying to carry $80 or $100. You're trying to carry that for it depends 60 80 or 100 it depends on what I've paid for and you're trying to carry that the week after you got the check the next week and the third week you're trying to carry that money and not touch it right there's a certain amount you you don't want your I've had my account get down to two dollars that's not a problem right and then a week before you got the $60, the $80, or the $100. Then you can get a little comfy if you want to do something like that. You, got, you, you, Everybody knows what I'm talking about, whether you get paid every week, every two weeks, or whether you're on some sort of assistance or something once a month. Oh, We, we know how to balance this out, boo-boo. We know how to balance this out. We don't play games. Oh, yes, indeed. That's why I'm not I'm not going to go there. I'm going to stop myself from saying that. I'm going I'm not going to take my chat in that direction. Sadly, I can't have Oh, you can't have cheesecake or anything with sugar. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your birthday's next month, and well, we need to hunt something out for you, Lady Dark Sky. As many things as you have done as many Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lady Dark Sky. As many things as you've done for me, I can go I need to I need to go out into my stores and and not just I need to just look around. If I go on live, Lady Dark Sky, if I go on live and you drop in, we can have a look around Goodwill. We get there's another store. I showed it briefly at the beginning of my, of this live. There was like a and I don't know if it said antiques or whatever it was. It'd be kind of interesting to go in some of these secondhand shops. Because there might be something that would grab your attention or the attention of another person. And I can try my best in the name of Jesus Christ. I need him to help me. But I think that this would be a wonderful thing for me to start once a month. You know? And just be it just be a little a little shining, a little shining light. It just makes somebody happy. Let's say we go in. And we see, you know, they got some bangles, uh, maybe some costume jewelry. Uh, like we got you the we got you the light robe that you can be comfortable wearing. You know, it just makes it brings a smile to someone's face, and it just makes them happy. You know, it doesn't have to be a birthday or Christmas or Mother's Day. Just because, yeah, just because we'll do a try to do that. We'll try to do that. People have sold into my life. It's time for me, as best as I can, to sew back. How about it? I think so. So my son did that. My son enabled me to be able to do something. But it was crazy. He go, and so, oh, what was funny, I was saying that I'm quick when I do something. You know, like I said, I had said, Lady Dark Sky, you're quick. 
And then I turned around and I washed the thing. I said, see, I was telling you the truth. I've got your box. You're going to get the box back with your thing in it, right? My son is the same way. I said, Alan, when you get paid tomorrow, can you send me this? The minute I get it, I'll turn around and send it right back. I bar He barely got it for a second and he sent, he, it was just a little tiny bit of money because I just want it. He sent it immediately. He goes, mom, I'm quick. <laughs> I go, what in the world? I said, oh my God. <laughs> so then I turned around because now I had it where I want it. And then I sent it right back. Me and my son, me and my son play the five, 10, 20 and $30 game. We just play this game. We've been giving each other the same $25 for five years. <laughs> we keep throwing $20 at each other. but It just goes back and forth every week. <laughs> Thank you so very much for tuning into this broadcast, everyone. I'm very grateful that you did. Let me check the time. We've got, um, we've got about mm, probably about 24 minutes. Thank you, Patty Fish. I do that with the other half. It's hysterical. Yeah, you give your husband, your wife, your your husband, your wife, your significant other, your children. I say, Mom, can I borrow twenty dollars? You give him twenty dollars on Tuesday. A week goes by. So, oh, can I? Can I? And then here, here she comes back for. Can I get ten dollars? You get the ten. Like it's a continual back and forth with me and my son. I sent him funny i don't know if it's funny it's probably not funny to any of you i sent my son seven dollars and 77 cents just to do it <laughs> i just out of out of the blue i sent my son seven dollars and 77 cents i said go get yourself a snacky or a drink I said, son, go get a snacky or your, a drink. I figure it was about that time. He was probably about ready to drive home from work. And I thought maybe he could stop and get his favorite energy drink and get a cupcake or something. So why do I do that? I just know that things are interesting where he is. And I think to all of a sudden, when you least expect it, just get something like that. It just brings a smile to somebody's face. That's all. That's all. You just make somebody smile. You make them happy. You don't have to spend a, a billion dollars to do something. So yeah, Lady Dark Sky, understand. We we throw it back and we're throwing the same $25 at each other every other week. <laughs> Thank you, Nez Lover. Thank you, Lady Dark Sky. Upon the Garden Sanctuary. You did it, okay. Everybody. Brother Stephen has the hey do you have the video is the video up pond and garden sanctuary if the video is finished could you could you put it in chat i know they can go to your channel because they can click on you but if you want to brother stephen of pond and garden sanctuary you drop that link right now to to the vi excuse me to the video I'm sorry, Pepsi is getting its revenge. I'm sorry. Can you drop that? I'm trying to hold my glasses up and look at the same time. You can drop the video for your banana cream pie. Oh, he made banana. Brother Steven made banana cream pie. I'm trying to get I'm trying to find out if the video was done because I know we did a video. Can you drop the video? Brother Stephen of Pond and Garden Sanctuary. Thank you, Lady Dark Sky. Thank you, Patty Fish. Thank you, Patty Fish. I can hear somebody saying, you just... Thank you, Carla Cash Out Loud. Thank you, Nez Lover. You're still on the air. Get a life. This is this is it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Lady Dark Sky. Oh, it's okay. She says, Grandma Lynn. Lady Dark Sky said... Just know I did not wash the dresses I am sending you. Well, all I got to do, all I got to do is put them, do what I did with, with yours and mine together. I threw all of ours together in there. Yeah, we got to start looking out for each other, Lady Dark Sky. I start getting an idea of the things that you like. 
but I, I'd like better for the live to be on Nez Lover Lady. Shamo now. Thank you. Yeah, reuse boxes. Come on, KE Vlogs. I'm doing that for Lady Dark Sky. She sent me a whole bunch of stuff and she sends me a dress in this box. Something, everything in me kept saying, don't get rid of that box. I left the box. Uh, don't, oh, I was putting stuff out of there. I put it out of there around in the bathroom. Maybe some of the, um, the nail polish or whatever. So I had the box sitting there on the counter. And then we went out to Goodwill today and we found the one thing. We washed it for her and it's hanging in the bathroom right now. So I'm going to turn around like K.E. Vlog said. We, all of us reuse boxes. Stuff is cost. I know that the post office has certain boxes they give away for free. They do have some they give away for free. But anywho, like KE Vlogs just said, we just put some, I have some, I think I have some decorative tissue paper I can wrap around and just put it back in there and send it. Oh, we don't waste. None of us waste. It's a rough economy. The game is reuse. If you, if they got the five or 10 cents per bottle return thing, you rinse that thing out and you gather them together and get your money. I'll be going there by the end of next week. I'll be going to the bottle place. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, and today we picked up our soil today. Some of you were here for it. Some of you weren't. But I picked up, a, I forget how big that bag is. Y'all seen the bag. So what we got to do tomorrow, I am, I think it's over there. I got my egg carton. So we're going to put some of that soil in the A carton, put a little divot. We're going to drop each one seed per, and we're going to see if we can get some plants to come up from the Dollar Tree seeds. Uh, the Dollar Tree has seeds for 25 cents. They're four for a dollar, incredibly, at the Dollar Tree. Spinach and broccoli, I've shown it, I've shown it too many times. But oh, yes, indeed. Why is this so dirty? I probably put my grubby hands on it. You all right, boo boo? What you got? What you got? What you got? You all right? Are you okay? You good? Yes? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come, come here. Come on. You want to come here? Come to me. Let me look at you. Come. Come on. Come on. And here is the queen and boss of the house. This is... Oh. Hmm. Don't bite me. Don't scratch my face. Well. Excuse me. She jumped off me. She wants nothing to do with me. I bet you if I get a snack, I'll get you. All right. There we go. Oh, now. Come here. Come here. I'm not. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. You're being snooty. My cat's being snooty. Wait till you smell the watermelon scented lip balm. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Really? Congratulations. A step grandmama again. Congratulations. It's a boy? Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank y'all so very much. Thank you, Patty Fish. I'm sliding backwards for a few. I think I can try to be on here for another 15 minutes. I can try. I can try. It's 4 hours 5 seconds. For the third day in a row, we're breaking records on the over 50, over 50 and fantabulous. The old wrinkled 63-year-olds hanging, hanging out here. 
Lord have mercy. I can't believe this. And if you go to something called social blade, social and a separate word blade, like you're cutting with a blade, it has a ranking system. Lady Dark Sky said she used to be an A plus on there. Lady Dark Sky said she was an A plus on there before, but uh, uh, now she's coming back and doing more on the YouTube. So she's probably going to get back up there to the A plus. But anywho, they have a rating system, I think A through F. They rate YouTubers, and you can go on to Social Blade. In the upper right-hand corner, there is where you, a, a mini search bar. In the upper right-hand corner, you can type in a person's name, and it gives you the average of the, the person's, what they make, mon the, the amount of money that they make, how long they've been on the channel. Uh, on the right-hand side, there is a little picture a little uh, thing where you can click on their latest video. And then on the left side, kind of big, is a rating of A, B, C, D, whatever that is. Grandma has been a C plus forever. Forever. C plus. C plus. I looked at it after putting my, uh, getting my... I can't even think what you call that thing. Setting up my laptop. I said, you know what? I wonder what it looks like now. I told Steven and some of his, uh, some of his, uh, the people on the panel, we were visiting with Stephen of Pond and Garden Sanctuary. And one of the panel members was talking about something. I said, have you all ever heard of Social Blade? They go, Social what? I, I go, now type your name in. And you'll see where you rate. He rated a B minus, which is excellent. And I said, if you look me up, I'm always a C plus. So I'm just goofing around. I said, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being like this. When I go like this, you know what I mean, right? I was being this. I was being nosy. I was being nosy. I said, I wonder. There I am. I'm on my laptop. Can't believe I'm on the laptop. Social Blade, over 50 and fan tablets. Boy, let me see. B minus. And it only took nine years. <laughs> My channel is so small and so lame. It took nine years to go from a C plus to a B minus rating on the Social Blade website. <laughs> Oh yeah, just nine years, that's all. Oh yes, indeed, we're making strides. <laughs> we're making strides. I'm gonna have to be 110 years old. Hello, welcome to over 50. Oh, I finally made it to A plus. Lady Dark Sky, are you there? <laughs> Lady Dark Sky, well, I have motorized me and Lady Dark Sky are going to have motorized wheelchair races. Nez Lover, Lady Dark Sky, <laughs> me, <laughs> Pat Fish. We'll have motorized. We're going to have souped up wheelchairs when we're like 100. If God gives us the grace to be on the planet and the planet is still here, we're going to be doing racing, shifting gears down the street. Oh, yes, indeed. Look, come on now. Let's go. I can see my little, my little, my little frail body with my frail head, my frail body and head snapping back and forth, just going down like this. <laughs> and then we're trying to cheat each other. We each have a cane. We, Lady Dark Sky and I, we each have a cane and we want to win so bad. We each have our cane. And we're trying to jab each other while we're trying to race. <laughs> Get out of the way, old lady. We're trying to, you know. <laughs> Ain't I terrible? Yep. Hello. Welcome to over 50, over 100 and not so fabulous. I got a Goodwill. I got a Goodwill in Hermiston. But to hell if I can remember where it is. <laughs> I can't remember where it is. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> All right, go give go take care of your hubby. Oh my golly jeepers, I got nine minutes. I got nine minutes, y'all. Nine minutes. I thought I'd just show you downtown Hermiston for about an hour and a half. I've been on the air for almost five hours. I said to myself, well, we got, mm, got eight minutes and 40 seconds. I might as well just keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oof. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. The first day I think we were on for six hours, maybe seven. I can't remember. The second day we were on for five hours. One day at about six hours. I think yesterday we were on the air. Please excuse me. It's this right here that's doing me in, doing, do, had me burping. So then I decided we should go downtown and just do something a little bit different. So we just went from store to store to store. Then we came home and had our had our chicken and stuff. And here we still are having a discussion. We even did did a, a load of laundry right quick. I think that I think that is a really good idea. That once a month we do something like that and be a blessing to one one or two people in the audience as we go into the Goodwill and to all the secondhand stores. There might be something interesting for a person. You know, we can purchase something and then send it to the person. I think that would be a lot of fun and a blessing. I don't, you know, we, we, we're, we're, we're at a certain budget, but we can. Okay, that is sister, that is my sister from another mister. That is Mama Rosa, AKA Never So Good Vegan LLC. She just sent me a message. What she does is she sends me messages as far as what's going on in the world, we kind of keep an eye on that with the government and things like this. So she keeps me updated. She is on, she always know what is happening. Trust. I understand that I'm on the air. I'm doing these videos and stuff like that. I also am aware over here somewhere, over here somewhere, I do think about what Russia did with the Ukraine. I am thinking about my grandchildren and their, their mothers and their safety. I am thinking about my son and my siblings. And I have an autistic adult brother in an adult care facility and he's doing fine. You know, I do have all these thoughts. You know, I think about Tim, his sister and the sister's husband or Tim's brother-in-law they're on his property. They're about a 14 minute drive from me. I do have the grab that bag of goodies. My sleeping bag, my tent, everything is in my closet. Please don't think that I don't have that. I got, I got all these little co compartments in my small, tiny peanut brain. There's all these little thoughts in my head. If this happens, this is what I'm going to do. If that happens, this is what I'm going to do. If this happens, I put my cat in the carrier. I get her food, as much food as I can grab quickly. I load up the back of my vehicle and go to Tim's. And uh, he says to throw stuff out of that camper I'll go until things cool. I got stuff in my head. But right now, occupying until he comes, we're just doing what we do. There's no need for you or for me to sit back in a corner like scared and not live. Not if we are in Christ. Why in the world are we going to stop living? We got to get up and do stuff. You got to go to that job. You got to take care of your children or grandchildren, your house outside and in. We got to pay our bills. We have to you take your wife or your husband, your husband or wife out to dinner or wherever, a show, whatever you're doing, you have to live. We can't sit over here all scared. It's a balance. We're not doing way over here or way over there. It's like a nice balance of things. 
purchase some things today because I took care of what I needed to and YouTube was kind enough because of all of you to kick in. So everything's just kind of like balance. You take care. This is your responsibilities that must be done. You take care of that. And then comes over here some other things. And then maybe right here, you can do a little something. You can you can go and do this. I think it was $14.99. This is what you cook on. If you just got in here, this is what this is. And this was purchased basically for my YouTube channel so that I can I can put the food right here. Most of my most of my meals are in one dish. So I could put the pan right here or move it up a little further and I can be on the camera and you can view as I'm cooking. It'd be just a little bit a more of a personal experience where you can see what I'm doing a little bit closer. But as I said earlier, do not have something a cooking top like this around your children, your your small grandchildren your small children especially say i turned it off and i've unplugged it take it off the table take it off the table put it in your oven that's not turned on or inside of it inside inside the sink so children don't think this is a cute playing surface because as it's cooling down it's still hot we don't want little hands going on this we don't want our babies to touch we don't want our babies to touch these things. I don't know why. I just feel the sense. I feel the sense to say that as I was just showing this thing. It's very, very simple. I apologize to everyone that's been here for a while. But basically, it's got your off button. And I think it's one through five. It's something very basic. It's just heat, boil, heat, fry. And then you can hear the click. When the off button comes, when the off button comes on. But there's certain set things that I, I want to purchase. There's certain set things, little things that I want to purchase for using on my YouTube channel. And this happens to be one of them. They have one set up that is a double. There's two burners. And I will be getting that, but we do things here once a month. So perhaps if God will allow me to, by his grace and his grace alone... He'll allow me to have that double burner. Then I can place them here on the table with a protective, something on this table, a metal, aluminum, whatever that is. I can place that on the table to make sure because I do not own this place. I rent this place. So I must be extra careful. You know, I'm trying to do little itty bitty things on my YouTube channel to improve. So I just, I saw it when I was taking you downtown and around the stores. When we went in the store, this is what it looks like when it's set up with a pan on it and everything. But yeah, I think that's a, a closer experience for the audience if you are cooking for them to see the food up close and personal. If you can do that safely, you do it safely. Thank you so very much for tuning into this broadcast. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sister Lynn. I found the Biblical News Channel here on YouTube. Can I send you the link in the comment? Please do. Please send the link. But thank you to Artist. The Artist is one of our uh, one of our super moderators. She's a managing moderator. Thank you, the Artist, so very much. She says, "Welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. I love the lettering." It's so pretty. I like that. And pa oh, thank you. Pond and Garden Sanctuary has shared a link. He made banana cream pie. That link he just put. It's two comments from uh, above from the bottom. Pond and Garden Sanctuary. Do you like banana cream pie? He made it. It's in the video. The link for the video is in the chat. So click that link, go over and watch that entire video. Go watch the entire video and give him this. Thank you, Patty Fish. Thank you, Nez Lover. Thank you, Nez Lover, so very much. Thank you, Cassandra Living Life, for being here. Cassandra, Li Cassandra Living Life is one of our super moderators, a managing moderator as well. Cassandra Living Life.
Thank you, Brother Marquise Payne. Brother Marquise Payne, I don't see his name. I remember him coming in. Thank you, K.E. Vlogs. Thank you, Kim. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Ken Act, Ken Act of Kindness, for your dollar donation. Every single penny counts. And if you think a dollar is small to grandma, you're mistaken. You're mistaken. If you earn $99 on YouTube of their $100, uh, $100 threshold, they can say, I remember one time, about two, three years ago, I went to check the balance of the AdSense to see if I reached the minimal $100 threshold. It was $98. It was $98. So that $98, because it was not $100, carried over to the next month. So I had to wait four more weeks. It was that close. So please don't ever think that a dollar is a tiny bit. A dollar is a lot of money. Oh, yes, it is. I am not playing. I am not buttering anybody's bread. I'm telling the truth. Thank you very much. Ken, act of kindness. Act of kindness. Come on, Shimon. Shimon. Thank you so very much, Nez Lover, for sharing over 50 and blessed. And for sharing the cash app, I'm very grateful. Thank you so very much. God is good every day of the week. God's going to do whatever he wants to do for each and every one of us. And thank you, Carla Cash Out Loud. Thank you so very much, Carla Cash Out Loud, going up and down the East Coast, doing some very, uh, very, I want to make this correct, professional interviews heartfelt interviews. That is Carla, cash out loud. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. It's like watching 60 Minutes or something like that. Her videos are very professionally done. Yes, they are. Carla, cash out loud, knows her way around a TV studio. She knows about all of these things. Oh, yes, she does. I highly recommend her channel. You want to sit back and watch a heartfelt video. Uh, she's interviewing people and asking them questions about life, about relationships, about love. She's talking about the loss of her husband and being quite just her heart is on this thing. She, she Her heart is out here. And she's sharing how she feels. That's our sister. That's our sister Carla of Carla Cash Out Loud. Thank you, Sister Carla. Thank you, Sister Regina M. Very, very much. Thank you, Bill Meyer. Thank you, Sam Taylor. Sam Taylor. Thank you so very much, honey. I appreciate it. See, you never know who's going to... Listen, if you have a small channel like I do, you never know who's going to come in. You never know who's watching. You never know who God is going to use. You never know what's going to happen. You would be amazed. Someone, someone just sitting there looking at my face, just looking and just looking and watching and thinking about me and thinking. You never know what people are going to do. I'm talking about kind, loving people. You would be amazed. You would be amazed, feeling they're all lonely and stuff like that. Somebody will send you a postcard or whatever that is and encourage you. You'll feel kind of depressed or something like that. They'll go under your video. They'll leave you a comment. And at your, if, you, if you happen to have a P.O. box, all of a sudden at the P.O. box, <clears throat> you're depressed or whatever. Here comes a beautiful card. Here comes a postcard. I just want you to know I'm thinking about you. I love you. I love your channel, whatever. And you say you can keep going. Come on. Come on now. Thank you so very much, everyone. I do appreciate it. I'm just sliding the chat down and mentioning names. Cassandra living life is a person that's usually, usually here at every single broadcast. And like I tell, thank you, NJC. NJC so wisely said, because I was talking about, the, I was talking about, you know, when I point, you know who I'm talking about, 
The devil is busy, but you got the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Grant her peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Grant her fulfillment and peace, Heavenly Father. If anyone is, 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 if that devil is trying to work and come through that wall, just give it a punch in the face and send it back in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, you didn't try to come to the rocks in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you made a mistake and stepped over into a Holy Ghost filled, uh, into a Holy Ghost filled home, into a Holy Ghost filled anointed home where we chase the devil down in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not a fool to say, just say, it. oh, get out of here, devil. No, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have to go. You can't stay. You got to get out of here in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. I am not special, but boy, oh, boy, you start mentioning, you talk about, you do that properly. God is a God of order. God is a, a God of order. Things must be done in proper order. Yes, they must. He tells us what to do. He did it in the wilderness after fasting. He showed us how to do it. Thank you, Rose L. Thank you, uh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you so very much, um, Bill Meyer. Yeah, I think the gas was three eighty nine, but I showed it. I showed I showed the tank when we stopped at the gas station. And thank you, Biz Mila and Duan Miller. I do believe by looking at the symbols. You could be from Syria, you can be from Syria, or you could be possibly from Iran, I'm not sure. But Grandma is grateful that you came in and visited. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, I wish you a wonderful evening. Please get some rest. Will I be on tomorrow? I don't think so. I'm just sliding the chat. Thank you so very much. And somebody said, what? Shoot, I forgot to save my egg carton. I can't find my egg carton. Come on, Cassandra. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, Nez Lover. Come on. Hey, hey. <coughs> Nez Lover. Prayers for all here. Prayers for all here. And all we pray for in accordance. Exactly. Come on, Sister Nez. Wisdom. Wisdom, Sister Nez. Exactly. In accordance with God's will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so very much. You, you, you don't have to send anything. You know how I am. You know how I am, uh, Lady Dark Sky. But yeah, I if I don't mail that little box out tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, the mail, the mail, mm, I'm talking too many words. Basically, the door to where you can go in and check your mail boxes 24-7, right? But the post office, the main part of the office is open Monday through Friday, I think, Nine or ten o'clock till six p.m. So nothing can be sent out on Saturday or Sunday. So if I I'm up late and I don't get out there tomorrow, I will do it on Monday. I will do it on Monday. Thank you so much, Cassandra Living Life. Oh, thank you so <laughs> thank you so very much. You want me to try the clothes on tomorrow? Okay. I can do that. I can do that. But see, I, I there's sometimes I could be on every single day. I could, but people get sick of seeing you. People get sick of seeing, I just, I'm just talking in general. There's some people they like, oh, you know what? 
This woman's on every day. I'm sick of looking at this old lady's face. Come on, can we keep it real? There's a portion of people that get sick of looking at you. They get sick of hearing your voice and they get sick of seeing your face. <laughs> so that's why I, I apologize because I tend to repeat. I say the same thing over because I feel I feel guilty, but I'm retired. I'm retired and some of you are not, right? So that's why I'm always saying, if you are a moderator on my channel, if you are a super moderator on my channel, you're not obligated to, just because you roll over in the bed or you turn around, cling, and you look, oh, Lynn's on again. Bing, bing. Lynn's on the air again. Bing, bing. She's on the air again. She's still on the damn air. I'm sick of this woman. <laughs> you're not ob <laughs> you're not you're not obligated. You're not obligated to come in here every time I'm on the air. I'm just on the air because I'm just on the air. I'm retired. I'm old. I'm old and retired. You see? Because some people are like, how, how do you have all this time on your hand? How do you have all this time on your hand? Because I'm an old woman and I'm retired after working for almost 49 years. Work, woo, 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 working like a dog for 49 years. So I'm to the place where I can do that. And my son was talking about, we were talking about his job. We we're talking about stuff. I said, son. I said, I don't have to think about that, at least not right now. I don't have to think about that because I'm retired. I said, however, son, the fact that I can get up when I want to, it took me 49 years to earn the right to do that. I just didn't wake up and work for five years and, and I'm here. Oh, here I am. I worked for five years and I've been sitting on my butt for 40, you know. And I, I don't know about anybody else. Sometimes there are people that have the kind of personality, they have the kind of personality where they feel like they always got to be doing something. They're kind of antsy. Oh, okay, maybe we should go over here. And then on Tuesday, we should go over here to the park. And on, on Wednesday, we'll go out to lunch. And on Thursday, we'll go to the museum. And on Friday, we'll take a three-hour drive and visit Aunt Clara. And then Saturday, we're going to go over here to this play. And on Sunday, we're going to go to church. And then we're going to go over and have brunch. And then we're going to do this. And we're going to go out and do that. And we're going to... I don't have to do all that. I, I, I don't have to do all that. I don't. And that's just my... That could be just my personality. But there are... Everyone is at a different level of patience, a different level of money, a different level of whether they need to be entertained or to be out and do something. Yeah, there's some folks that they can't stay still. They must get up and go out and do something and be occupied and be entertained and be whatever that is every, just about every waking moment. If they, if they just can't just do this. this, this is impossible. They can't just, just sit back and just relax. Not You don't have to be in this position, position all day long, but every once in a while, you need to sit your ass down. You need to sit your ass down and calm down and clear your mind. What exactly would you like me to do today, Father? Is there something that I'm overlooking? I recognize that I blew up today. I was talking about her and I got very angry. And I'm very sorry that I upset you. If I upset you. But you see, as I have told you, I understand what I have to do as a grown old woman. 
However, <laughs> the burden doesn't oh, just fall on me as far as how I am to behave as a human being, Father. She has the same responsibility as I do. As she's saying she is in Christ, like I'm saying I'm in Christ, then I'm having this conversation with you, Father. In some way, shape, or form, I can't tell this person what to do, but in some way, shape, or form, Father, that human being over here needs to be having some sort of a conversation with you like I am right now. And just touch and bring complete peace. Whatever is lacking in her mind, in her spirit, in her life. It is not my job to fulfill another adult human being at every single turn. Because like I can sit here by myself watching movies playing with my cat, throwing the ball or whatever, talking, texting with my son or whatever that is. And I can respect and leave people alone and mind my own business. There's something in that mind that will not allow her to do the same thing. So whatever that is, my prayer is that can be fixed whatever way you choose to fix it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray and ask it. And that is as clear, Father, that is as clear as I can describe it. Amen. Amen. Just like that. Yeah. It is so easy for me, and I don't think I'm being a coward. It's very easy for me. I know you can't tell because I've been talking for five hours. But I can just, I can just get out of somebody's way. Mm. I don't feel an overwhelming urge to know the details. What are you doing? Where are you going? What did you just buy? What's this? What are you bringing in your home? What did you buy? Oh, I see you're planting something. What are you planting? Okay, let me go to the next house. And let me go to the next house. Let me run across the street and ask them. Let me literally take a little rolly thing and go from house to house to house, just, just rolling and rolling and talking and seeking and being nosy and all that. I, I, I have no desire to do that. I stood up in a factory for 10, 12 hours a day for years. I need to sit my ass down. I, I don't need to know your business. I don't need to know who lives with you. I don't need to know what's in your... I don't need to know that. It is none of my business. I don't know about anybody else. That's just how I am. If you choose to share, I, I'll share what I... I may share a lot of stuff. But I do not have an overwhelming desire to be in and out of every over 55-year-old man, woman, or married couple on the street. I have no desire <clears throat> to be in their business. I respect uh, their privacy. I respect their property. If something is happening, you got a flat tire, uh, your house is on fire, your dog has got hit by, your cat is hurt, or something like that, I'm going to knock on your door. When you were out or on vacation, <clears throat> this is the kind of car that pulled in your driveway. I make, uh, Maybe if I notice it, I'll write it down and I'll knock on your door, not early, not too late in the afternoon, hand you the paper on Wednesday at three o'clock. <clears throat> as I was walking by or driving by, I didn't recognize this car. 
I, I don't need to, I just wanted to tell you as your neighbor, that's what I saw. I'm not trying to be in your business. It kind of, you know, I felt like something was off. Here you go. I'm just. Yes, Lady Dark Sky, I understand. It's okay. There are a lot of people that don't get notifications, and it's okay. Thank you so very much, Lady Dark Sky. Uh, um, excuse me. Thank you, Lady Dark Sky, and thank you to Artist. All right, everybody. I've only been on the air for a few minutes. I think it's about time I leave. <laughs> We've been on the air for five hours, 21 minutes, and 45 seconds. We have cons we have received some donations uh, on the upper right hand corner. Thank you so very much, everyone, for your don for donating to my channel, which helps with the bottom line. Helps the bottom line get there a little bit quicker as far as reaching the one hundred dollar threshold. When for us YouTubers, when the one hundred dollar threshold is reached, we are notified by the eleventh of the month. The 11th of the month, I think for most YouTubers, they're notified if they are monetized, whether they have re reached the $100 threshold. Then, 10 days later, on the 21st, usually uh, the business time of the bank, at least my bank, usually about 9.20 a.m., 9.30 in the morning, the whatever money that would be over the $100 threshold is deposited into your checking or savings account whatever you have managed, whatever you have arranged with Google AdSense to do. The only reason that happens is because of everyone in the audience participating in whatever ways they choose to participate in my channel. So every single one of you that visit the channel, leave the thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, comes to the live stream for five minutes or the full five hours and change, all of you, all of you are responsible for paying for over half of that laptop that's sitting on the table in my bedroom. That's what all of you did. Thank you so very much. Grandma is ever so grateful. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much for what you have done. Alan Dale, that's my son. Alan Dale, if you're looking at your mother's wrinkled face, <laughs> I love you so very much. I love you. You know who that is. I'm not going to say your name. And I uh, and baby Nora, my granddaughter Nora, give Nora a kiss on the forehead for me. I love you so very much, son. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will be here this summer. I will not be angry if you cannot come because uh, brand new baby. Thank you so much, everybody. Love y'all, just for now. Thank you, Father.